and recording has started as well. Okay, so last we left off, we had Svaldor uh, praying at a shrine in Phandalin, and some asshole kiddos were throwing rocks at him. A Axel stepped up into the pathway of the rocks, trying to threaten the kids with uh, with calling their parents on them, and the kids were like. You don't know us. You don't know our parents. What are you talking about? So, ineffective so far. And then I believe Crackthorn picked up two children. Threw them down. Yeah, there was there was a little bit of light tossage uh, after Axel got a critical hit um, from a rock, which did so much damage. Um, and that was how the three of you met. Um, if I remember correctly... Gravedigger, uh, Kendrick, and Agamok met kind of actually just at the job board. Does that does that sound right? Yes. Okay. Y'all, y'all got to know each other a little bit as much as some of the characters talk at all, and then everybody, yeah, and everybody met up all all together at at the um, the, the quest board and decided to go to town master's hall where you're all pretty much there more or less right now anyway and talked to the town master the mayor whatever you want to call him through the door he is not happy at all or willing at all to open the door for anything since since this dragon has been sighted scared to death somehow a door would save him from a dragon but You've come to the conclusion that there are two quests you would like to partake more or less at the same time because they are more or less in the same direction. One is to talk to a widow. It's not the right word, but I think she is a widow. But A midwife? Is that the word I used? Yeah. Yes. Cool. So you wanted to, yeah, you wanted to go to Umbridge Hill. To, to help the midwife, maybe warn her there's a dragon, see if there's anything you can do to help her. She lives by herself. Um, you want to try to urge her to return to Phandalin. And then you'd get a 25 gold piece reward. I'm going to... I'm going to say that's 25 per... I think these are all going to be 25, like the number that it says on here per character. Because 25 overall as a group sucks. So... Yeah. Um, I've actually found some documents online about a, a World of War, sorry, not World, a Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons world based on the silver um, standard of currency and how it, to a lot of people, makes more sense. But that's a lot. That's too much for me as a new DM, but it's, you know, it sounds cool. So we'll just stick with kind of what this stuff is. Um, the other part was the Dwarven Excavation was a little bit further along the line, more or less in the same direction as the... Um, Umbridge Hill. So, uh, y'all were gonna do... Or wait, did you guys want to do Nomengard or the Dwarven Excavation? Did I completely uh, create the wrong map? <laughs> there were two of which... Uh, whichever one was closest to the southwest we were headed towards because two of them were in the same direction. So the Dwarven Excavation is southwest of Umbridge Hill. I know it might look backwards in my camera, but... And then Nomengard would be southeast of Umbridge Hill. Both relatively equidistant from Umbridge Hill. I have, and where's the midwife? I have, uh, she's a little bit to the southeast of Phandalin, where you guys are now. Oh, who's Iron Golem, and why am I letting them join? Uh, I think that's me. It's just a random man. Okay. Join. Sorry about that. Cool, cool. Um, sweet. So, anything you guys want to do in Phandalin? We have... Um, I, I would say, unless you're a character that you went through a lot of um, efforts to kind of sell off what would be starting here in order to use the, the resulting money from that to um, purchase some specialty items. And not like the one item that you get as like your special item, but like I think somebody had like some shield gauntlets to, that he wants to bash people with. Like, 
I believe that's a different character. But I would say everybody would follow the normal character building thing. You would have is like 25 or 10 gold. And then if you sold something, you could use the profits. Okay. But yeah, anybody want to do anything in town with the meager amount of money? You guys each have one. The mayor gave you each one um, of, the, of the basic healing potions. I called it minor, but I think it's just a healing potion in the game. Okay. Uh, how much money did we try to get? Uh, I think for my character, he's poor by no means. He has like 10 gold, which is equivalent to... Daddy, you trying to think of how that, how that translates. It doesn't. Do, you want if, to say where we are? Just, just do not... I, I've learned do not try to translate in-game gold to real-life currency because it doesn't work. I've read a lot about it. It does not work. I wish it would. I wish it did, but it doesn't. So, let's say, unless you made a lot of weird choices and like you had to sell a bunch of stuff in order to purchase your weird specialty things, and everybody starts at twenty-five gold. I don't care. It's fine. Twenty-five gold. Okay. Yeah. Again, unless you did a lot of weird right. shit to. Um. No. My my character is like he has like a job, but nothing like. Like, I don't think it would affect his gold that much. Like, he's kind of meager. Okay. So let's get started. Unless anybody has to do one more thing in here. In town. Oh. Nope, not here. All right. I'm not really. Forever hold your peace. It is then. So. um, Go ahead, sorry. Umbridge Hill is roughly five miles to the southeast of Phandalin. You would have had at least that much information from um, anybody you talked to. There, yeah, okay, we'll we'll just we'll just start with that. So, in the five miles that you guys are traveling, let's say 15, um, 15 minutes per mile on foot, twenty minutes a mile, you have about an hour, hour and a half to travel. Anything you guys want to do on the way there? Um, not really. Like I'm, <laughs> Nobody's curious about anybody yeah, else. I... It's okay. Uh, I'm battling my snakes to hide inside my clothes. Or snake. I would just be watching the tree lines, looking for uh, any sort of animals that I might be able to see. Okay. Um, my character. Keeping an eye out for any sh shady business. Yeah, my character is just like using his, uh, just you know, looking around, seeing if anything's going on. He's kind of one-track minded, so he's just going to the task at hand. <clears throat> okie dokie, okie dokie. So. Unless there's, it's an hour and a half, it's close to town, nothing's really going to happen. So what we're going to do is get the next map going, which I have not uploaded already. But I think I have, dang it, I don't have a map of this. Okay, so you guys are approaching from the northwest of Umbridge Hill, because that's the direction Fandolin is. Let me get that map just so I can kind of describe. It's not there's not a lot going on with it. Um, page forty-three. For everybody following along, it's on page forty-three. So let me get perception checks from everybody. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna see if I can see your rolls. Oh, I got a two. I got wow. a sixteen. I can I can see them popping up one at a time. Oh there we go, game lock, there we go. And yeah, just, just open that game lock and you can check. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, I'm not. My character isn't in the campaign. Let me 
<laughs> yeah, you're not going to be able to see my thing in the game long. You've had so much time to put him in the campaign. He, he, he was in there at first, but I think I took him out for some reason. I don't remember what it is. So, anybody who has a perception of... Honestly, it's, it shouldn't it shouldn't be that hard. So, as you guys are approaching, I would say from roughly 200 feet away, anyone with a perception of higher than... 12 would hear um, some roaring. The sound sounds a lot like I'm just gonna use some real world terms that you guys may not have heard of it like as your characters in game but sounds like a lion roaring um, kind of in the direction you're going and anybody with a perception check of higher than 18 would also hear the, the sound of a female voice kind of like calling for ever so faintly like just at the edge of your of your hearing range if you have ears that is um, which I think everybody does for the most part um, the sound of that, a female voice kind of yelling get away help me that kind of shit you guys are roughly oh, about Sorry, go ahead. Someone needs our help. You're you're roughly two hundred feet away at this point. Is it is that is that what you're gonna share with the group? Just someone needs our help? Yeah. Okay. What the right? <laughs> Who are you asking? We know the we know the direction, right? Like Yeah, I said it's it's in the direction you're you're walking. Oh. Are there any faster than we already were? I mean, you guys are just walking at a traveling pace for now. It just if you if somebody wants to sprint ahead, they can. Uh, I'm gonna say, um, what did it sound like? You heard the sound. Oh, I was asking them. Yeah. It seems like someone needs our help. Did it sound like a woman, a child? Down oh, the and what direction? Do they? Are they needing our help? Oh, right there. Over there. Southeast of where you are. Yeah. Yeah, oh, right so direct to where we're going. Yep. Yeah, That's about where I heard that uh that roar. I'm okay with this. I want to know what it was. I'm also okay with this as long as it's not a detour. I'm fine. <laughs> Yeah, we should go help him. Okay, so what's yep. the plan? Um, you guys want to sprint there? Just... Yeah, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> yeah, you can do a light jog. Yeah, let's get the blood pumping a little bit. Okay. So this, this level one group wants to sprint <laughs> toward... Okay. Cool. Hey man, you know, like adventure type shit. <laughs> sure. So, uh, let's see. Remind me. Is anybody wearing clanky armor, like disadvantage stealth check kind of stuff? No, Savaldor is. Savaldor is. Yeah. Okay. That was that's, that was my guess based on all of your characters. I would say the barbarians wouldn't be, the druid probably wouldn't be, and the wizard probably wouldn't be, but clerics, yeah. Um, as you are all sprinting, or anybody who is sprinting is sprinting, anybody who kind of wants to be more cautious, just let me know in a minute. As you all are getting closer, within sight range, you see a tower. And the tower is roughly three stories tall. Um, Umbridge Hill got its name after two feuding dwarf clans fought a pitched battle atop it. The cause of their umbrage is a tale lost to time, and only the cairns of the dead now remain. The stone windmill on the hill is a later addition, right, but it's still more than 100 years old. 
as you're approaching, you see, um, dang it, I don't have the map. I want to show, okay. Let's pretend that this map is still, is, is the actual map. You see from a distance, up near the Fandolin, I actually know in the bottom right because we're moving southeast. Ah, no, don't look at the map yet. <laughs> I thought I fixed it. Stupid, stupid Albert. I didn't look. I didn't look, I swear. You see, okay, now you can look. <laughs> so let's pretend the bottom right here is where you're approaching um, the hill. Somebody's moving my monster. All right. You see what looks kind of like when you're about 100 feet away or maybe 150, depends on how close you want to get before you stop to kind of inspect. You see the head of a lion. You see the wings of a dragon or a pterodactyl, you know, just kind of leathery wings. Um, you have the tail of a snake, I believe. Uno segundo, por favor. I've never had to. It, that bit of Spanish stuff on your vacation? I, I have had two years of Spanish under my belt before I went, and I brushed up on it a little bit while I was there. Um, it's not a tail of a snake. It's just kind of a spiky tail in the body of a lion. That's kind of what you can make out from your distance at this point. What's up? What you doing? Oh, you're getting mixed up with another monster. I get to understand it's a snake tail. I think pro probably. Okay. Yeah. The one with the goat head and the snake tail. Oh, yeah. Is that Baphomet? Oh, think... Yeah. Those... Shit. How do I know that? I forget what they're called. They're, like, very similar. They remind I was thinking of, of a different snake tailed creature, a uh, Nue, like a Chinese uh, mythical creature. Mm hmm. The snake tail. Wow, I've never seen one of those before. I want to I wanna go say hi. Go say hi. <laughs> it looks kind of like a griffin. I can't even lie. Like a really <laughs> ugly griffin. An ugly griffin, sure. Griffins are like Wild the eagle, eagle them. face. Yeah, this is like a... Lion face. Know. Scary lion face. Uh, I'll enlarge okay. it as you guys get closer just so you can kind of... Uh, from where we are, how, how exactly how far away from it are we? depends on how far away you were like i'm saying that you get a better description of what it looks like once you're roughly 150 feet because it's at the it's at the top of the hill where the windmill is so you would have a clear eye line to it i, I would say but sight distance given what it is let's say you can clearly make out some details around 150 okay. so right now we're like 200 yeah. you're Somewhere, somewhere between 200 and 150, you're at the bottom of the hill. You have not yet reached an incline. And you're staring southeast toward the windmill and the creature. I'm going to say... Uh... Can I... I want to get closer until I see the, the endangered person. <laughs> I'm going to say to Gravedigger, please. Uh, do not... We no none of us should go. That I feel... I don't believe that that is a wise choice to go mess with that mystifying creature. I think it's great. I'll come with you. So who, who uh, sorry, who, who's looking for the, the lady? My grave digger. Just, gra okay, grave digger, give me a perception check. Alrighty. Perception. I got a 13. Uh, you're not entirely sure where the shouting is coming from yet. Dang. So what are you guys doing? I'm chilling. The lady's she can she can, um, she can go. She's chilling. I guess I'm gonna uh, move up a little bit with Grave Digger, like kind of stand behind him. He's gonna be human shield with his big cell. I'm like, can I do an investigation? See if I see any blood around its mouth uh, or any blood in the area. From how far away? Uh, I'd assume we're moving up about to like the 150 marker. I because he said he was going to go check it out. From what I understand of investigation, that's like if you're in a room and you're going through drawers, like you're up close and personal investigating things. You're you're still looking at perception at this at this distance. Okay, what kind of perception? Sure. Yeah. 
the um yeah, I have, I have 17. okay and you're looking for what again like blood in the area around its mouth um, from 150 feet away 17 perception you can't really make out like you think there might be some some redness around the mouth but you it, you couldn't really tell what it would be from this distance also the creature at this point has not noticed any of you mm -hmm. Woody, I'm, I'm gonna get a stealth or walk okay so I got Gravedigger and Algumok talking at the same time who's doing what go ahead oh all you Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little stealthy on my way getting closer. I okay. don't wanna like right away kinda get its attention. So I wanna get closer though. And Agamok? Uh, I don't really know what this creature is and seeing him take a cautious approach, I'm going to copy him and do the same. Anybody else? Hmm. Uh, I'll just watch from afar. Okay. I'll, I'll let it play out. I'm also gonna do the same. Be a little bit more cautious, continuing to hide behind Grave Digger. So, are you gonna go with Grave Digger? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go with Grave Digger, but I'm gonna. Svaldor? I'm gonna walk slowly so that the armor doesn't clink. I wish. It, stay I wish it worked that way, dude. <laughs> not not clink as much. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody who's approaching the creature further needs to make a stealth check, and if your armor says disadvantage, you gotta do that at disadvantage. Oof! God. Seven. I got an eight. We're, we're, we're together. We're not, you're not in this alone, Grave Digger. I I'm, yeah, I'd say I'm about 15 feet away. <laughs> oh, where's my stealth? Okay. I heard... Oh my god! Oh, oh. All I heard was an 8. I'm not looking at your guys' rolls, so let me know what they are. Uh, 20. <laughs> 7. Kendrick eight. and myself are 8. Okay, that's kind of what I figured. Okay, um, even as a group stealth check, there was no way you guys were beating the creatures. Mm. Um, oh. 17 plus 1, so 18. Yeah, that's Ew. okay. Um, Fox stays out of sight. <laughs> the uh, once you're within, let's see what what's kind of um, once you're within a a hundred feet. Yeah, I would say it, even with the yeah. Once you're within a hundred feet, the beast turns toward you. Anybody who's close to it at this point, they can kind of get a better vision of it now. Uh, it is a large monster. Monster. It's a large, mon large monster. And you can see a little bit better, a lot of like rows of spiky teeth inside the mouth. The main, the lion's mane has kind of some large, long, kind of like just long tooth like spikes, or maybe like rib cage, like ribs kind of mm -hmm. spikes coming mm -hmm. out of it in all directions. Mm -hmm. Spiky tail, kind of a dragon wing, like I, like I said before, for a quadruped lion body. And it turns toward you, noticing you for the first time. And at this distance, anybody who's within that. 100 feet at this point they they can see and hear the woman at the top of the tower she's at the top of the tower he used the, this creature's at the bottom trying to like kind of claw it was trying to like claw up and get to her jump high enough but just even with the wings it wasn't it wasn't making any egress into into this um windmill and it turns toward you she's up there she's like thank you thank you for trying to come in to help me like this I, he's been here for like 10 minutes now and I, I don't know what to do. What you doing? Can, can I come up and try to sneak past it to get to the tower now? After watching from afar. You can try. It's, uh, you're like, this is an open hill. Um... It's a windmill on top of a hill. There's no trees. 
There's no cover we'll at all. And we'll be fine. Don't 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 worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just just trust me. I'm really sneaky. Okay. Hmm. Uh, give me give me a, yeah yeah. Man said trust trust. I'm just gonna honestly stick with the 17 perception roll that I had earlier. So. Uh. <laughs> got bad news. <laughs> got bad news. I rolled a five. Let's go. He, it it already saw four of you. I don't think it's, yeah. So it sees the last one of you, because <laughs> uh, Axel has has left the building. And, um, what are you guys doing? What what's your posture? What, what what's your what are your thoughts? What are you doing here? I'm standing up and waving hello. How angry does this thing look like? About as angry as the picture would make it think make it seem. Yeah, but that could just be that like sometimes cats just really look pissed off all the time. But yeah. Just... This this time is he's about that angry. Okay. Uh, well I'm gonna continue uh, to hide behind Gravedigger. Uh I don't know, guys. I'm I'm drawing my shovel, stand in front of everyone, <laughs> ready to fight. <laughs> Or that shovel shield. Maybe start walking forward a bit so we're not 100 feet away. <laughs> um, I do we want to engage this thing? Cause guys, I got javelin. I'm just saying. Or well, I don't. I want to talk to him. Or how about we just leave it as is because he didn't kill the lady. Yeah, but this is like a Rapunzel story. What if she's like? Got magical hair or something, or hella racks or something. You never know. What if she has riches beyond our belief, and then we just woohoo? Well, to be also, honest, I'm not, I'm not really willing to die for for riches right now. Uh, or we just take the hide of this thing and sell it and make a sweet coat, you know? Yes, but that's assuming we need it. Well, there's. Uh, hey, man. Whatever you guys want to do. I'll go majority rule on this one. I don't really know. Well, we should probably try to save the woman anyways. Your, your little snake charmer, this thing looks... <laughs> the wings look reptilian. That's only it is, it is <laughs> not a snake. <laughs> <laughs> so af after this amount of, of talking with the creature looking at you just that gigantic rows of teeth creepy ass fucking smile pointing your direction he said it it says what are you doing here this is this is my quarry this i am hungry my mate is hungry we will take this woman oh you're hungry Oh, that that's okay then. Guys, we should you know we should really all Yeah, we should, we should, uh, we should um, go to meet her. I'm slamming my foot on the ground, Grave Digger's gonna slam his foot on the ground, and then and then slam his is uh you know, he's kinda like got his shovel slapped into his other hand, so he's got like double handed it now. And he's gonna take a he's gonna try to try to look intimidating to Okay. Try to okay. try to tell him that this is not gonna happen. He's not gonna let this stand. All right. So I've got an intimidation check from Grave Digger. Is is he the only one acting at this point? Um. Do I see? I want to help, but I don't know if I I should. Are you not also an intimidating yeah. barbarian? Okay. Fair I enough. got a twenty-one in intimidation. Well, my charisma is really bad. I'm very uncharismatic. <laughs> well, okay. So intimidation for I I think. I'm, I'm hoping that a lot of tables do this because I think it should be done. If you're a big Hulkin character, barbarian and such, I think intimidation should be a strength um, addition. So 10 plus strength plus, plus, if you're proficient in it, proficiency. So what, I would roll intimidation and then plus whatever my strength is, is what you're saying, or my strength? Are you proficient in it? In what, strength? Proficient, uh, intimidation. Uh, no, uh huh. No? Okay, so 10 plus strength mod. Unless you just want to give the help action, basically, to... Well, you're not proficient in it, so I don't know. <sighs> well, 
Are you only give help when you're proficient in the thing? I, I mean, run, roll a ten plus strength mod, which would be fifteen. Okay. Just role play like you walk up next to him and like fucking point a weapon at him. Yeah. I'll, I'll just, I'll just <laughs> yeah. I'll stare him down really well. Yeah. You know? Um, so he rolled a five, oh. and that's gonna be like a, a probably a wisdom check, which is a six total. He doesn't currently he. He looks a little bit um, unsure at this point. He, th he thinks that this group that has approached him might honestly pose a danger to him. But he's still hungry. So, he's like, I don't, I don't want to fight you, but I will. I need food. If you attack- I can you. You can, you can feed me? Yeah, I mean, if you're just hungry and you're just hunting, I don't know why we're, we're killing each other. I just feed you. Do you, do I, do you have enough for my maid as well? Uh, sure. What's your diet? Is he a human only eater? <laughs> hey. I... <laughs> So I would. Kidnap one of those little kids, dude. We should. We should. We should add. We should add. I'm like I told you guys. I want to have a quote. A quote thing going. So I'm kind of interested in somebody writing down that Agumak asked <laughs> a rose of serrated teeth lion thing what its diet is. So we can add. <laughs> so, we can, so we can add that. Um, yeah. Meat, please. Does it have to be human meat, or can it be any meat? No. No, this... She was just... I mean, no offense to you, but you look frail and easy to kill. To the lady. Fuck you! I... Yeah, I guess. My kid, like... I, this is, this is a weird situation, man. I think I have a wonderful idea. So I don't have, uh, meat. I have magical berries that can provide your nourishment, but if you don't like berries, why don't we all just have a little get together and go hunting together? These it's six of us, we're sure to be able to feed you. These berries, just... these berries you speak of, what do you mean they provide nourishment? Well, you just put the berry in your mouth, and then you won't be hungry for like a whole day. One one berry would feed us for feed each of us for the whole day right but they only last for a day too so you can't really like self shelf life them you know so you could how many can you create or how many do you have i have 10 and but again last... it would be kind of a waste because i mean you could eat one now and then in like 20 hours you could eat one and eat another so i would give you like four probably the best you'll get so you could feed us for two days Okay. Yeah. Um, make a persuasion check. Are you talking about rations or is this an actual item? <laughs> this is real. It's real as fuck. Oh. It's it's good berries. A druid spell. Thanks. I did not know that was a thing. That's cool. No one takes this shit, but I mean, you know, some DMs are like, "Hey, how are you it's, guys gonna eat today?" So, it's you know quite what, useful in, in a lot of situations. Wow. There's a fucking wow. campaign. What what level is that spell? First level. You guys are oh, level, you guys are level one. Uh, you got you got a four oh, in persuasion. No. Oh. Ah! Well, my dice went off the table, so you succeed. No, I don't fucking know. I'm a druid. You wouldn't believe the number of druids that don't pay any attention to that spell, but it also depends on the campaign. Oh. It's the character, I feel. Yeah. This is like, I mean, hey, man. I play a lot of them where it's just like, well, you guys are going to have to spend like eight hours hunting for food today. So I'm like, just yeah, I just started taking that. So yeah. I can say, fuck you. A helpful, <laughs> a helpful druid guy. Um, with that, you said four persuasion, right? Yeah. Um, 
and it's, st it's still riding on that that intimidation check honestly at this point by the way i'm i'm running this more or less according to the book so <laughs> if it seems weird here you go um oh so this is this is what's supposed to happen i thought you were just like going along with the, no. with the intimidation check <laughs> no it's more, it's more or less well yeah anyway i don't want to give everything away um he rolled a nine on his check against the persuasion but the intimidation is still running for or t two days for for me and my 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 mate um i don't i don't know if that's enough we'll just be hungry again two days from now and we know she's here you, you really think this small lady's gonna last you more than two days Well, shit, you have a point. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. What happens if we eat, if we eat more than one berry a day? Well, you don't really, it doesn't really stack. Um, but you'll feel, like, rejuvenated. Almost like you're healed if, if anything's ailing you. I like that you could have tried lying, but you didn't. <laughs> um, we'll we'll take you. Can, how many can how many can you create? I can give you ten, but again, okay. they're gonna lose some potency. I don't wanna. I won't lie to you. you Seem like a good guy. You're just trying to feed yourself. I get it. Well, you know, you do what you gotta do. Lava, lava jungle. Yeah. This um, is the same as a human picking up a cake and just eating it. It's about the same shit. I... One more persuasion check. Yep. And also, we do have this really big guy. So, like, yeah, I'm just trying to help you. What, are you trying to offer me off of such food? <laughs> 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 no, no. You're serious he, shit. Like, he doesn't look that appetizing. Again. I can, yeah. I can smell him from here. <laughs> Roll the fifteen, sir. Okay. All right. So with uh, two successful, uh, an int successful intimidation, an unsuccessful but by, by a little margin, persuasion, and then an, and then a successful persuasion, he will accept four good berries, taking you on your word that they will really only last for a couple days. And he will. I'm. I'm not. I'm not going to attack you. Okay. But how are you just gonna toss me the berries? Do you want to like hand them to me? Oh, uh, here. My grave digger's gonna put his hand out to Ugamok so that he can hand the berries to him. Uh, I. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not. They smell like. <laughs> I'm sorry. You, I'm not sorry. Honestly, you threatened me. So yeah, you stink. Uh, I guess I'll do it. Um, I don't mind. I crushed oh, okay. the ice. <laughs> if, if, if you don't mind, then never mind. I don't mind at all. I'm glad. <laughs> I've always wanted to. I like seeing new things. As long as you don't mind, if I take a couple of notes on you, and you know, hey, if, if whenever they run out, just find me. What? No. Right, I can feed you any day. Notes? What notes? Oh, I just like taking notes on new things. By the way, what are you? <laughs> I forget. Oh God, I I'm in, I, you're gonna have a lot of quotes. Um, well, hmm, I, that's by not, the I, way, what are you? Yeah, that's not <laughs> as a funny quote, but that's that's funny. Um, well, I I don't know what everybody else calls us, but uh, I am a I am a manticore. As is my spouse. I'm writing it down, and I'll cast good berry and uh, conjure. I will conjure all ten berries in my hand. Uh, we have one, two, three, four. So I'll hand out one of each of the party members and then give four to yeah, and approach the manticore with the remainder. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm going to take your word for it, but... Okay. 
Yeah, I'll hold up my hand. I like it. And he... I'm going to say he at this point. This, this is the male. Um, gingerly, with his fucking serrated claw tipped lion paws, uh, picks up the four berries. Um, stores them in like... This, I'm just going to say is kind of like a marsupial pouch. You know, whatever. Who gives a shit? And flies off. Flies low, like a like you kind of get the sense that flying high, he's not a fan of it. Might have he might have a height problem. Um, that's, uh, you don't know, but yeah, he's, he flies low. Off in. Let me just make sure. Should I say something as he flies, like as I see him about of to course. take off? Of uh, course. I'd like to just call out. And, and you know, if you get hungry and you want the old lady again, just just come find me and wave. <laughs> You'll give me the old lady next time. No, I'll give you more berries, you goofball. What is, what is a goofball? You. Are you insulting me? No. Yes, he is. Uh. <laughs> As a DM, I may have backed myself into a corner here. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do that. Oh, no. um, honest, I was just testing the gangster, but I was like, what you gonna do about it? <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm just playing, you guys. I know what a goofball is. <laughs> you're good. You're good dudes. I'll, um, if I need to find you again, I can just follow my nose to him, right? Up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Can I try scaling the tower? Can I roll like athletics or something? <laughs> if you fucking want to, sure, whatever. Like, so it's, it's, it's a windmill. Athletics. Windmill, by the way. Uh, and yeah, athletics. He flies. Oh, right. He flies off kind of in a north. Twenty-three. Northeast, an east northeast direction. Just FYI. You lose sight of him after like 300 feet. 23. Do I make it up the windmill? Hold on, bro. Um, and get rid of my Manticore page at this point. If you didn't have that berry spell, man, I, I was thinking about just letting him have it. Because in my head, that's the same shit as us like picking up a pig and eating it. Like... It's like he had thinking. Like he, he could full on talk. Like he, you know, it wasn't just a monster. He, he had a purpose. Like he had to eat. So. All right. I'm sure I would have done the same, even if at a brainless one. So it's gonna get us in trouble. <laughs> As uh, Crackthorn is trying to uh, and succeeding, you know, in the beginning to to climb the windmill, the old lady is saying. Thank you so much for getting rid of. What are you? What are you doing? I have a front door. Oh. If you want to keep uh, climbing, uh, you're welcome to. You rolled good. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted. I'm really, really. Okay. What do you think is the move here, guys? Because you're too he, embarrassed. He you're says going. as he's 20 feet up already. Yeah. What, what, do, you, what do you guys? Fuck it's it, easier to go up walk. than it is to go down. I, I climb up the rest of the way. Wait, oh, I really want to do so. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm a good person. I climb to the top of the windmill. Wait, can okay. I climb to the top and then roll perception with advantage so I can see over the land? <laughs> just, you just get free advantage? No. Well, no. I'm on top of a windmill. Come so on, it that, is a that means advantage point. <laughs> that's that's disadvantage for that pun <laughs> on your next roll. Anyway. Damn. No, no I ain't gonna lie to them. <laughs> you, you guys were already at the top of a hill, adding forty feet, sixty feet. I mean, you, you get a better view. Uh, but what are you looking for? Uh, I don't even know. What are we looking <laughs> for? Someone, I yell down to them. What are we looking for? And then I'm waiting for an answer. To be honest, I have, I don't even remember. I think it was like a mine. Like, oh, um, can I roll perception to look for a mine? Dwarves. Yeah, dwarves. Dwarven mine. Then dwarves after the dwarves dragon. Mine was Wait, my, my lady that I had to go. Sure. 
Yeah, we'll sure. You yeah, more lost than he was before. <laughs> you, you you see hills to the south, to the southwest, the southeast, going further to the east. Wow, that's great observation. Yeah. Well, okay, like, I, I guess kind of like hills, mountains, kind of yeah. I'd say mountains at some point. So these are mount. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're welcome to try to climb back down. It's another athletics check. It's right faster there. to jump. 25. Good, good thing you rolled. You rolled well. Uh, yeah, you no, no problem. You, did you want to like enter the the window on the third story where the lady is still like? You're a strange one. I do I'm thinking of of thievery, but I'm I'm a good person. This is an old lady. Alright, I'm back. Old, listen. Old people are always stacked. Okay. What? Uh, Most of it. In like, what fucking I'm world? <laughs> retirement fund, man. Retirement fund. Exact 401k. Oh, you uh, have. I'm so. IRAs, you I I'm know? so sorry for what you're about to learn as you get older. Listen, <laughs> listen. I'm talking like those old, like the ones who go to Florida and like go on cruises till they sure. die. Sure. Yeah, this those. This person's job is to help people give birth, right? Yeah. I don't think you're gonna make a lot of money. Doctors make a lot of money. <laughs> She's a, she's a, a mid, she's a, a midwife. Oh, she's a midwife. Wait, no, is no, this I'm, the person I'm, I'm looking no, for? Okay, so right. I'm gonna admit it, we spent a lot of time with Crackthorn climbing up and yeah. down. Anybody else do Riley. anything? Riley, I'm gonna have to go. All right, it's been a pleasure. Okay. See you next time. Riley, was this the person I was looking for? Uh, Wasn't I looking for a midwife? You you don't know. Oh, okay. I thought it was a middle one. I thought. There's this cool thing called communication, though. Shoot! I, I wish could. I could do that. I know, right? <laughs> mm, I could. Hmm. What to do? Yeah, honestly. Oh. Um, okay, I'm gonna just ask her, um. Be like. I'm trying to remember what the fuck I was supposed to ask her about. I know I got hired. Oh yeah, are you, are you a midwife? I am. Okay. I think I was looking for a midwife. I don't remember though. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're talking about your. Yeah. Uh... Is it a midwife? <clears throat> no, I think no, I think he he assigned the dragon thing to him. Yeah. No, you were looking. Oh. Yeah, you were tasked to look for an item to help defeat the dragon. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Which I believe was is the dwarven thing. Mm -hmm. So. Was it? I thought that was. I thought it's, the. It's definitely not I'm here. It's not. I'm yeah. pretty sure it was the dwarven <laughs> thing. Wait, no, fuck. It was Nomengard. Yeah, I made the wrong map up. The dwarven thing. <sighs> nah, the dwarven thing is before Nomengard. So if you made the dwarves, you made the right thing. Technically, Nomengard and the Dwarven Excavation were both, like, your one of the first three level one quests that you could you could take. And I think you guys were choosing Nomengard, and for some fucking reason, I kept thinking it was the Dwarven thing, so I made the Dwarven thing. Let's, uh, aside from me railroading you a tiny bit here, you'll get to all of it, I promise, but I only made the map for the Dwarven thing next, so. Well, that's fine. I'm, I'm... I'm pretty sure we were going to the Dwarven thing first, and then going to Northern Guard after, because it was they were on the way to each other. They're like, oh, we can do that. they're not. So not? Oh, Umbridge okay. Hill, where you're at right now, is on the way to Nomengard. It's almost a straight line from Fandalin to Umbridge Hill to Nomengard. Okay. It's, it's just Lost Mines of Fandalin. No. It's a, no. It's, it's mm. a, no. This is a Dragon of Ice Spire Peak. Oh, all right. And thank you. Um, I, I it's my fault entirely for thinking you guys said you were going to the Umbridge Hill and then um, the Dwarven place. When actually you probably were going to Umbridge Hill and then Nomengard because Nomengard 
is where you heard that there could be an item to help kill the dragon. Oh, yes. Okay. You you will get there eventually. I am sorry. It's fine. I, yeah. I was just confused on what like what was happening because it was like three weeks ago. My fault. Yeah, because it was three weeks ago, I think I forgot. And anywho, um, what are we doing at this t at this windmill? I think oh. the lady takes them. Okay. We should probably ask her for like, you know, what's going on around here. Maybe the big guy can talk to her. What's it going to say if we should ask her for a reward? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold your hand a tiny bit here, and your quest here was to warn her. Gotta warn her about the dragon. Yeah. And try to convince her to go back to Fandolin to be safer. Okay. So what are we doing? I uh, okay, I was gonna say, y'all wanted that I will, I guess. Here's here's something that Agumak, um, Kendrick, and maybe even Crackthorn, who might not be the diplomatic lead, but y'all know by now. I think you would have learned by now that Gravedigger is a very is a, is a man of very few words, if any. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the wizard and the druid might have to be the social face of, of the party for the most part. I mean, Crackthorn can always try as well. I mean, my barbarian did okay. Uh, a pat on the shoulder. Hey, if you want to go ahead, I'm gonna go like, watch the tree line. Uh, if you want to go talk to her. Do we, did you say Kendrick? Do you have my guy cut out? Uh, yeah, yeah, Kendrick. I okay. tapped you on the shoulder. No. I'm gonna be like, uh, I'm gonna walk up uh, to the windmill a little bit more. I'm gonna be like, ma'am. Uh, have you heard about the dragon that's going around recently? I've I've heard I, I think I've even seen it. Like up and high in the oh. sky. Well, if you've seen it, then perhaps you should move away. It, it hasn't bothered me so far. I don't even I don't even know if it knows I'm here. Oh, Manticore found out though. Yeah. I wish I could say that. You, you shouldn't. You shouldn't test the water. You know, you shouldn't give him a reason to be. You should leave before he does. I appreciate the concern. I really do, and I appreciate the help. Um. I. This is this is my home. I. I yeah. I. I'm not. Ooh. I'm not gonna leave my home. I'm uh, gonna walk in through the front door. Which is locked. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, say, okay, I'm gonna break down the front door. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, okay, I'm gonna knock on the front door. I mean, stick with the choice. Okay, but yeah. I'll what is it. what is your choice gonna be here? Yeah, I'll I'm gonna try kicking it down. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> What the fuck? Anybody else? Uh, so you're you're you guys are seeing Gravedigger start to walk toward the door because yes, I don't know how far you guys were still kind of far away talking to the Manticore. Gravedigger just starts walking beeline toward the door. Uh, let me get a, a perception check, I guess, or maybe no, 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 um, insight check from anybody who's kind of looking at him doing this. I have a five. Grave digger, <laughs> Grave digger's just taking a stroll. Did, did he vocalize that he's gonna go kick down the door to us? He does not twenty four. I might vocalize anything. He doesn't vocalize anything. <laughs> Gra uh, Grave digger, did you take that um, that cantrip? Uh, the the one we talked fish? about. Yeah. Uh, so I. I put I don't have it in my character sheet, but I wanted to switch uh -huh. it to that. 
I don't I don't know how to add it, and it's not it's I, it would have to be Svaldor adding it because it's his thing. Yeah, um, I know I know how to. I'll do it later. But right now I have the fire one, but I can I'll just say I have the. Okay, one. was it? It was Agamak that rolled 23, 24? Yes. Okay. Uh, you see the square shoulders beeline toward door, seemingly um, mal- not malicious, but like violent intent toward this door from <laughs> Gravedigger. Um, and actually... Hello! Un- unfortunately, the the midwife does not understand. She rolled low enough that she doesn't know what he's doing. But sorry, go ahead. Can I like rush the door? Can I like shoulder through the door? Can I sprint at the door and shoulder through it? So you also want to break down the door? Yep, I'll help him. We could both like double kick it, like uh, out of the one movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger and the black dude where they like <laughs> dab each other up. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I would like to remind you guys, because your quest would have said the following, and talking to the mayor dude, you were to warn her of the dragon, and urge her to return to Phandalin. Okay, so I don't have to convince her. Okay, I thought I had to convince her. Okay, I'm gonna say no. uh, perfect because if we kick down the door, she's gonna be scared. Oh, uh, so much. so knowing knowing uh, that's your quest, Gravedigger Crackthorn, what are you doing? Okay, so the way I see it. If we kick down her door, she's gonna be like, "Oh my God, there are crazies around us. Should be in town." So I no, they're gonna will... report us to the town guard. I'm going to stand. I'm gonna stop. A little bit, a little bit away from the tower, and I'm gonna look up at her. And I'm gonna point at her. <laughs> I'm gonna send message to to her. Okay. And then you uh, said you might want to like have it not be your voice. Ooh, it's not gonna sound exactly like my voice. Okay. Like I'm, I'm just gonna say you can. For for the fuck of it, you can modify it however you want. Okay. Um, I'm still trying to figure out like the, the the way that it's worded doesn't make it seem like they know exactly who's who's doing it, but you do have to well, point also, at them. Yeah, I'm doing yeah. like a very noticeable like full arm out point. Yeah, yeah, just like that. And then she's gonna hear a kind of wispy, dark, <clears throat> shadowy voice in her head. Uh. <laughs> being like it'll, the the words would be uh get out get out and go back to what was the place Fandolin 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 okay Fandolin oh, that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> she looks down at you um and then uh, while while he's doing that Crackthorn what are you doing um oh, this is a hard one and give me an intimidation check as well. F- um, right. Not you, uh, Gravedigger. Okay. Damn. Uh, this is a hard one. This is choices. I got a nine. Oh, she got an eleven. Okay. Okay. Rolling like she rolled it. a nine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run up and I'm gonna kick down her fucking door. Oh, All right. We don't have to kick down her door. Uh, Anybody gonna do anything or just let him do it? Uh, Can I tell what? that Hold he up. is going with intent? Uh, sure. Uh, you gotta roll insight. Uh, well, your insight would have been. Ah, you rolled pretty fucking good there. Uh, yeah, you you would have been able to see both of these gentlemen. I'm gonna call them for now. Um, chaotic fucking something. Um. Approaching this door with violent intent, and then Gravedigger stops, like, but Crackthorn keeps on. Yeah, I'll let Chaos uh, speak, and then, but I do have some prepared if this, because I'm not gonna let it happen. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, I guess I'm gonna say. Um, I thought. But, but I, I thought. I thought you meant like literal chaos, not this person chaos. Because I'm calling him Kendrick. <laughs> I'm just gonna let chaos speak, man. Just okay. Sorry, Kendrick. Well, that would have been another quote. Yeah. 
I, uh, I'm gonna say to the lady, uh, if you really don't want to leave, you don't have to leave in quest to urge you to come back to Phandalin. Because of this dragon, you know, you see, no one wants you hurt. Okay, so Kendrick here, or sorry, Crackthorn hearing that, are you going to continue and break down, or are you going to wait for a response first? I'll, I'll, I'll sit outside the door waiting for a response. Okay, so she has the message that no one else heard from um, Gravedigger. She looks right back down to him. Sonny, I've been living here for 50, wait, 55 years. I've mm. faced tons of beasts and ne'er-do-wells. You don't frighten me. And this is my home. I do not wish to leave. And she says that last line to both of you. And she's not being... Like, pardon my tone. She's not being, um... She's being conversational, not confrontational or, uh, bitchy or whatever. Just matter of fact, whatever happens here, you're getting the sense whatever happens here, it's her home. She's fine with the outcome. Okay. Um... Oh, look, to Kendrick and them and ask them for like what I should do. I'll ask them for uh yeah. I would guidance. I'm gonna say nothing. Do nothing. Uh we don't have to make her leave. We just had <laughs> all we had to do was just tell her she should leave. So we should do nothing. We should leave. We can go go back to what we were doing. <laughs> Fair enough. Who, all right. Who who sent you here? What do you why how do you even know I'm here? The mayor of Fandolin uh, sent out a quest to that that Rube. To come back. He, I I helped his mother give birth to him some forty something years ago. He, I'll tell you what, you were sent here with good intent. I'll I'll write a note so you can give to him. If you want to look at it, you're welcome to, but it it's going to have some strongly worded language. Um, and you can give it to him as, like, proof that you did your job, you, you saved me. Is that, is that going to be enough? Yep, uh, that, that's just fine. Oh, can you put in the note that the Manticore thing, I believe is what he called it, uh, is actually a good guy and just, uh, you know, let, let the town... For him to put out a message to the townspeople, if they're hunted by a manticore, just offer to feed it. Everything will be okay. <laughs> um, I, I guess. Yeah, sure. I thank and, you. And she disappears inside the house for a little bit. You might hear a little bit of pitter-patter going down some stairs. She unlocks the front door um, allows you inside if, if you would like to, if you'd like to in explore a bit, if you feel like it, but it's, it's very rudimentary. Uh, and then yeah. she's, she's writing a note, including the manticore thing. She folds it up and hands it to... I'll take it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so she hands it to Kendrick, and Kendrick, you can add a midwife note to your inventory or write it down somewhere so that you know that you're the one that has it. Um, and she also offers... Uh, you know, I, I use this windmill to um, like ground up herbs and and other things for to create potions of, of healing um i thank you for helping me i can i can give you <laughs> a 
No, I don't. She hasn't. She hasn't offered to give any. Whoops! But oh. I, I can, I can sell you some. They're fifty gold each. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's uh. Thank you for the offer, lady, uh, madam. But uh, madam, thank you. That's, that's quite too expensive for at least my pocket out of the fruits. Okay. Well, I thank you for your help. And if there's nothing else I can do for you, uh, I'm gonna go back to my craft, creating more potions, and then. When the occasional call for a midwife comes, I will go do that. All right. Have, have a lovely evening. You as well. Thank you so much for your help. Okay, out of character. Should we rob her, bro? Like, <laughs> no. I told you, old Absolutely lady, not. stacked. Okay, potions, herbs, etc., etc. Don't even make that face. Listen, listen. <laughs> I'm not even talking about that. I'm just saying, like, like you literally saved her life. <laughs> so, like, I'm trying to play to what my character would do, and I don't think he would rob an old lady. No. There, there are four floors here. If you would explore it all, you would you would understand here. The base floor is five is, is twenty five feet square. Um, it is. There's little text on this. I just I just read it. Um, it's just kind of an entryway. Not a lot going on in here. Sparse furniture. The second floor is 15 by 15, as is the third floor. And her her living quarters are on this floor, the second floor. Um, there's a bed, a desk. That's about it. There's not a lot going on. You don't see any any sign whatsoever of riches. And whoever told you in your life that old people are all really well off, <laughs> they did you wrong. Yeah. I don't know about the whole they're just rich thing, but I'm just saying, yeah. like, you saved your life. You could at least give us a potion or two. Like, that's why I'm like, this so shit. Is, <laughs> would, would you like to talk to her about that? Nah. I'm, Kend Kendrick's not that type of guy. I'm just saying, okay. me personally. But yeah, bro. What what y'all thinking? What y'all thinking? Uh, the does your character is your character thinking about that? No, I'm just saying. I'm asking out of character. What y'all what, what y'all think I, about what happened to old lady? I I would I would like to try, and it's not always going to succeed. But if you're going to have discussions, like that your characters would theoretically be talking amongst amongst themselves about it's gonna be in character for the most part okay i i will allow like um if it's a logic puzzle kind of thing and only one character is like is is in a position to do it i think that's unfair even if it's the character who's playing the high intelligence character it's just like you don't expect somebody playing a barbarian to do feats of strength in real life to make their feats of strength in the game happen yeah. so but in this instance if you are having an in in your mind conversation with yourself about should i should i rob her that's for you but if you guys are going to talk about it it's gonna be in character i then oh, never shit, mind i was just joking yeah. <laughs> i all right, let's go. Okay, yeah, we should yeah. probably head back to town. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, I'm actually quite good with uh, with alchemy. You know, if one day you'd ever wanted to kind of share some notes, and uh, I'd, I'd love to, to learn how you make these potions. You know, not to take any business away from you, just to, so that I can live to save you from a manticore another day. Honestly, there's there's more business than I can keep up with, so... If you want to learn, I am more than happy to, to help you learn. Oh, that would be wonderful. I like to learn. Yeah, and, like, I, I don't have a lot to give you. I just have a meager amount of potions that I, that I can make. They don't, they take a while. Like, they're not super easy to make. I gotta go out and gather the herbs, which is dangerous. I gotta come back and mill them, and then 
add a little bit of magic into them, which is like the only magic I have. And it's not a not an easy process, but like you can definitely learn it. And like I can give you that tutelage for free. It, that's I don't have anything else to give you. That would be great. And you know, I'll, I'll turn back to the party. If you guys wanted to like head back over to, and, and you know complete the quest, get it in, and then kind of head back here and on your way. Uh, gotta let me know and I group up with you. You know, I'll, I'll learn this and you guys handle that. And what do you think? I'm not opposed to that. Hey, thank you, Ben. I think that sounds great. Okay. I'll uh, be right back. So, oh, so the plan is we're gonna go back, turn in the quest, and then you're gonna stay here. Uh, learn the potion, then we're gonna come back for you. Uh, and then we're gonna continue on the other quest. Cause it was on the way. Yeah. That's great. Oh. Um, as a little bit of information to help you guys make that decision, um, the dwarven excavation again, which is sadly the one that I, the map I created, but you'll get to everything, uh, is roughly ten miles from. Oh no. Yeah, roughly 10, I'm say 10 to 12 miles from Fandolin, which I did some math at some point in time, but I'm just saying that every five miles is an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, you're also walking with people who are armored heavily, and it's, yeah, it's heavy, so that's kind of why... Like fifteen minutes a mile, give or take. Yeah, okay. Got yeah. it. So, if that's what you want to do, we're looking an hour and a half back to Fandolin, and then maybe um, three hours to the Dwarven excavation. But you would have to go back to Umbridge Hill first, so that's another an hour and a half. So that's three hours so far of travel. You guys got it was morning when you all started like meeting each other and choosing your quest like early morning so i'd say at this point in time you're looking at roughly nine i'm just gonna be not nine a.m where you're at right now so so uh quick question would it be actually no we can't never mind we can't do that. Okay, yeah. yeah, I think we can go back. Go to the duty of the plan. Go back, turn in the quest, then come back for dude. For Ogumak. Unless, would that take too much time? Uh, going back, how long would that take? You guys would get back to Ogumak within three hours. So I'm just going to say noon. Three hours. And then the Dwarven excavation from there would be two, two hours and 15 minutes. So you get there roughly at 2.15-ish. Well, that's not bad. Yeah. Are you, are you, guys, are you guys upset with 2.15? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. What about you, Crack Oh, what? Huh? Sorry, it's on that one. Oh. Um. It's a lot to really explain. Uh, so, we're, crack. We're yeah, we're, I'm going. I'm down. Yeah. I'm down. I, I bet. Yeah. No. All, all right. Is there anything you guys would like to talk um, Talk amongst you? I'm not going to do some uh, a lot of RP. Maybe a little bit. Well, unless Algamak wants to. I'm not going to do a lot of RP with the whole kind of training that's happening in the meantime. No. But uh, um, and we don't need to pick up that time. I might give you a roll or two to like kind of figure out how much you've learned. Do you, are you are you proficient in alchemy or herbalism? I uh, herbalism. Okay. I unfortunately learned when I first played D and D that um, herbalism more or less sucks. <laughs> um, yeah. al alchemy is how you create things like potions and such. Herbalism is is one way to gather the ingredients for those things, but. Aside from just gathering ingredients to sell, maybe you can't do a whole lot with them. Like, I, I, would, I would maybe let them be used as a, in a medicine check um, to try to help heal some wounds, like some really minor stuff, or to help cure a disease. But aside from that, 
or poison. Um, if you wanna if you wanna choose a different um, thing, you're welcome to. If you would like to, like Axel, add alchemy as another skill alongside herbalism, uh, I would also allow that. Yeah, so kind of my thought process was, well, I can help her gather the ingredients because of the herbalism, and then she could teach me the alchemy portion of it. I don't expect, you know, to be proficient with it off of okay. the one training session, but I was hoping to progress to that if uh, sure. possible. Sure, yeah, no problem there. Um, okay, uh, so do the three of you have anything you'd like to talk about on your hour and a half back to Pandolin? Hmm. Uh, I was looking at my character sheet, and I guess Kendrick, uh, I made Kendrick lawful evil, so I'm gonna say, Fuck. do you guys think we should have robbed the lady? I'm lawful evil too, but lawful. Remember, lawful. Why? Hey. <laughs> lawful, it's only lawful if you get, it's only not lawful if you get caught by the law. If you're not around law, yeah, then you're... No, evil. no. Lawful means that you follow a very strict set of rules. Lawful evil means that like your your demons following a contract, kind of thing. I did not know I was running an evil campaign. <laughs> well, nah, he's like kind of like the reason I put lawful evil is because he does evil things in secret, but lawful like he like he pretty much is good on the outside. Like, he doesn't like keep it. He doesn't like make it super obvious. Does so he, you know, he's, does he's chilling most. Does your DM need to know about these unlaw or these evil things that the character does in mostly secret? Just, mostly just the things that come with him being a vampire, like oh. drinking blood. Like yeah. So you, your vampire vampirism, literally has you sucking blood from innocent victims yeah. or innocent yeah, people. Is, well, it doesn't have to be innocent people, but you know, you when you're hungry, you're hungry. Yeah. Is that wait? Is that built into the 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 race? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. The race says yeah, you yeah. need to feed once a day or some shit like that. No, not once a day. It's... Not mechanical, I don't think. Hold up, let me. Honestly, I was running off of the. Uh, I we had somebody play a vampire paladin, a dampier mm. paladin, and there was no mention of them needing to feed off of anything to sustain their life so i if that's built into the race i missed it because i just oh it's not oh they it's not to, to sustain them they just have like an like ability you need to yeah, yeah like you can need to, but i wouldn't i don't know he wouldn't die if he did that if he okay did. but uh okay. he does like get thirsty and shit like that don't or, we all or, hunger you know the temptation but you know <clears throat> Well, yeah, a, all right. To the, to the crew. Uh, why? Why do? Why do you guys think the lady didn't get, like give us a potion? She's a cheapskate. Cheapskate? You never know. Maybe. She did say it took a while to make them and a lot of effort. Mm. But maybe because I scaled her tower. That would make me not want to give people potions. Stealing my power. Oh, bro, I keep forgetting Grave Digger can't talk. So I was just like, oh, does he want to, he want to talk here? Like, give him room to talk. I'm just like, I, oh, he's literally I'm trying can't. to figure out a way to communicate right now. But... It is not right. that he can't. <laughs> okay. He just doesn't want to, yeah. <clears throat> Got you. Yeah, yeah. I wanna... For the most part. Yeah, I would just continue walking. I, t I, I told him that this would be a, <laughs> a thing that would possibly grate on the other players, and like only having a, a select few people who, who would be communicating with anybody in the world. But Just use grunts and shake your head or nod your head, you know? Listen, I'm usually oh, yeah. a very charismatic character that can do the talking for everyone, so I thought maybe someone else could do that. <laughs> I I would just appreciate a grunt every now and then. Like, mm. <laughs> 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 mm. 
he oh, okay, sure. he he has said that he will like out of character say gravedigger nods his head gravedigger gives a thumbs up gra- whatever so you'll get yeah. some of that but and, and actually, it won't be forever guys you guys also know nothing else at this point so yeah well fuck it actually i'm gonna say and i apologize for this up front crackthorn but um since you at the time were kind of focused intently on the door um kendrick give me a perception check kind of um this is like a a past perception check because like okay my rolls have been shit today oh 19. So you would have noticed, um, and do with this information what you will, that Gravedigger had stopped, pointed up at the lady with his head facing her as well, and you would have also noticed that she looked straight back at him as she responded to something. She was talking directly to him, and her words were such that she was actually like responding to something she had heard or she thought he said or something like that. Gotcha. Okay. I'm going to just continue walking, uh, to the place with these guys. Yeah. Any more conversation from y'all? I'm all good. Um, Agumak, give me one are you going? You you you, you want to be slowly learning alchemy, right? That's kind of what we're doing here. Yes. Okay. Give me one. Um, you know, actually, you know, give me give me an herbalism check. Right. When making that check, what um, I'm unfamiliar with. Is it just D twenty plus proficiency, or is this a? If you, I think you're proficient with an herbalism kit, right? Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, I guess that. Um, D twenty plus proficiency plus wisdom bonus. Wisdom Copy. modifier. Are you proficient in nature? I am. Okay, then just there'd be in nature. Yeah. All right. Well, I, the D twenty was a three, so if we're doing a nature, that'd be five plus two, seven. That comes out to the same. Okay. Um. All right. So you guys get back to town. And, um, but Agumak, you're kind of, you're like barely starting to grasp, like it's, it's, it's there, but it's just not there yet. Um, you guys get back to town. I'm assuming you go to the town master's hall. Yep. Okay. So give him this letter, turn him this quest. So what you doing? Uh, Specifically. Oh, give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I'd assume turn in the quest. How how are you doing that? Well, okay, chaos has to doing. Out. Well, yeah, once he gets back, he'll have to figure that out because he has the note. Oh, I'll I'll just give you the note real quick. Yeah, now, he's so you don't, don't have to wait for me. Yeah. Well, I'll just walk up to him. Is 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 he at like a desk or something? A little like. Office? He he has a door inside of like the mayor's office, the town master's hall, and. Door is always shut. It has like a little slit that he can open, like a mail slot. Um, but yeah, that's that's where you would find him. And unfortunately, Crackthorn, you are only voice right now <laughs> for talking that's to people. Right. Um, one second. Uh, yeah. hmm. I'll knock on the door. Okay. Who is it? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, people who you gave the quest to. The quest. The, the, what? The people you gave the quest to. What quest? I'm a busy man. With the, the midwife. Oh, Agatha? If that's her name. You guys, you guys never asked her name. <laughs> uh, yes. What about her? Is she here? Uh. Yeah. Just open Ugh. the door. Oh my god. 
I open the door for no one. All right. I'm just going to take the note from Cragthorn and slide it under the door. Mail slot, but yeah, okay. Where's our pay? He, uh, you, you hear, you feel him pull the note from your grasp, um, and hear the creakling of pa- crackling of paper as he reads it. <sighs> Where's she, our pay? She said what about me? That's that great, but stubborn old woman. Yeah, um, easy, young man. I'm getting your pay. I'm just making sure that you did what I asked you to. And he will slide out. How many were in your party again? Uh, what? Baldor, four, six? Six of us? That is not a lie. Okay, so, uh, okay, fine. And he slides, well, he kind of shoves, he, he, it's a male slot, so it's not, like, a really thing, but he, like, shoves, um, a bag with, you can hear coins clinking inside of it through the mail slot. And that would be... Oh, shoot. I can't do math. 150 gold? That would be what you'd be expecting. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna take the bag as he's pushing it through. Um... And, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, uh, looking through it, taking out, separating the gold into stacks of 25, putting some of the 25 in my pocket. Okay. Did you, uh, I seem to remember you were doing another thing for me as well. Did you, what, what was that other thing? I'm going to, I'm going to, is the mail thing still open? The little mail slot? It, I mean, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna point at him through it. <laughs> I'm gonna try send message, I'm gonna message. Doesn't the cantrip uh, say that you can, oh, you have to be familiar with them? Do I? No, I have to see them, right? I think you have to be familiar with them to cast it through uh, a solid thing, right? Well, Otherwise, I thought I thought I thought I was like peeking through the little. It is, but I'm just hole. saying. I think the spell says that if you if you can't see them, but you are familiar with them, you can still cast it as long as it's not through an inch of um, something or whatever. Anyway, you can see three feet of woodblock. Yeah. Blocked it, but yeah, you're right. Yeah, so you can kind of see. I'm. We'll, we'll fucking. We'll, we'll hand wave it. You can see him. We'll have to do. Okay. What are you? What are you messaging? Remind me what the mistress name is again, because I've been confused with the two different things. Yeah. Uh, you guys agreed because of my fuck up to the dwarven excavation. Um, you're warning the dwarves. Warning you... the dwarves of a dragon. Yeah, just you're warning the dwarves from the excavation site that there's a dragon in the area. Okay. So, I guess I'll message him. And it will be in a nice, a nice, gentle voice that doesn't fit my character at all. Definitely wouldn't expect it from me. And so it just says, like, oh, we're just going to to go warn the dwarves right after this about the dragon. It, like, but I, I guess he hears it directly in his head, so it's a little jarring. What is it? What does it sound like? Uh, uh it, it's just like a normal voice. Or, yeah, it's just a normal voice. What's what is an, a normal female voice, male voice, child uh, voice? It's just a guy. Just, guy. just a guy. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, yeah, that was you. Okay. Yeah. Like, please do. Please. Yeah. They need. It. Yeah. yeah. Do do that. Why are you here? Like that was on the way, sort of. Well, not really on the way, but. Okay. 
Thank you. For money. Well, obviously. Okay. I've helped separate all the gold. It is the exact number, right? There's no left. Oh, are you going to count it? Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to start splitting them into stacks so that um, I could give them every. In, uh, give me an investigation check. Okay. <laughs> Where's my character sheet? Okay, there we go. And no I got idea. off of it. I got off of it again. My phone loads so slow. Were you proficient in investigation? I definitely am not. What's your proficient. intelligence modifier? My intelligence modifier is like one. Plus one. So D twenty plus one. Yep. Seventeen. Yep. It's the right amount. Okay, so yeah, I give the twenty five to every other person. What about the people that aren't here right now? Do I just well, keep them in the bag and give it to them later, or do I just say I gave it to them? I, I do not know whether or not at this point in time I'm going to allow subterfuge of that nature within the party. Especially because every character will, will have known what the reward was for finishing. But uh -huh. in, in cases where one of you stumbles upon a treasure or something like that, that's going to be whatever. But y'all knew you were expecting 25 each, so... Yeah, I wasn't going to keep the other 25. I, I get you. I'm just kind of giving you a, a an idea of... Well, yeah, anyway. Okay. Yeah. So, are you guys heading back to Agumak? Yes. Okay. Crackthorn, um, you're welcome to give me a perception check, actually, at this door... You are, you're confused, like, who the fuck the mayor was responding, I'm, I'm just calling call him a mayor because it's easy for me, who the mayor was responding to, but that's about all you got. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. like, in his room? Like, he was talking to someone in his room? I missed something? You, you, yes. I mean, you witnessed, fuck, this is hard, um, roll, give me an intelligence check as well, actually. Oh, just not. All right, I got you. And eleven. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with you. Uh, you saw Gravedigger. I don't think he was being subtle about it because he didn't tell me he was. You saw Gravedigger like point through the mail slot, and then you, a couple seconds later, heard the mayor responding to someone. And that's that's about all. You got so far. So. Oh, this is. Ooh. In character, that's all you know so far. Um. You guys make your way, Agumak. If you can hear me, give me one more um, nature check. Ew. Yay! It's even worse than the last one. Okay. Did, did the roll go uh, go through? No, I, I'm not on that screen. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Find my little log. I can be. Jesus. I'm sorry. Uh, six? I don't know. It didn't... Yeah. Okay. So you would... Again, you're still just kind of barely grasping it. You're going to need more tutelage. Like, you, you're not even at the point yet, by the time these guys get back to you, where you could be practicing on your own. Unfortunately. Uh, okay. Uh, do we have Kendrick back yet? Is everybody back? Still no Kendrick. Okay. I, th I think still you guys would be carrying on. You still have your one potion each. You have your 25 gold, which as far as you know, Gravedigger is going to be um, doling out. If you haven't added it to your character sheet yet, please do. Um, oh, sorry, somebody's actually, 
uh, somebody's actually talking in our Twitch chat, and <laughs> I am not paying attention at all, so I apologize. Uh, yeah, lo, lo siento. Anyway, it's another... You, you guys are going to get, if you're still going that direction, to the uh, Dwarven Excavation site by 2.15 p.m. game time. We're just going to say. And at this point in time, we will take our break... I know I have to use the restroom, refill my drink. Um, unless anybody, I mean, I'll probably be back in the next 15 to 20 minutes, but if you want to make it a full half hour to eat, depending on what you need. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to be back. If everybody's back by 4, 4.15 Central Time, so 2.15 Pacific, um... 515 Eastern, whatever, then we can keep going at that point. But if you, if everybody, if we got some stragglers coming back a little bit later, then we'll, we'll go then. Cool. I'll see you guys all good. later. All right. I don't have an intermission. Later. I have not created an intermission <clears throat> in this game yet, so... Um, do I have one?
So from now on, just know that whatever you say is recorded. Anything you say can and will be used against you. God, I hope not. But a so, space. So we're not talking about that anymore. There, are, there are already space whales, aren't there, in the Spelljammer book? I think so. Yeah, so like a Tarask is more or less same fucking thing, I guess. I'll make it three Did you times as big as a Tarask. Sorry, who? What? Did you just uh, compare a whale to a Tarask? <laughs> in in size, yeah. I'm pretty sure a Tarask is much bigger than a whale. How sure are you that a Tarask is bigger than like a blue whale? I'm sitting on a cool 25 percent. No, I'm, I'm, I know a decent bit about creature sizes, and I'm sitting at like a, I'm sitting at like a 75 in the figure. Like, um, hey, we're um, all fucking nerds shit. here. How many oh. pounds? I guess would be the question. Because Tarask is what? gigantic, isn't it? Uh, the creature size gigantic. How yeah, much gargantuan does a Tarask weigh? Okay. Well, hold on, man. I'm getting there. I just want to okay. make sure. Right. Okay. So how many how many pounds are in a ton? Depending on well, I, that's you can't you can't just say that because you, you can. Oh no, I sorry. It's two sure it's I... two thousand pounds in a ton. Okay. So blue whales typically weigh. Somewhere between thirteen hundred and what, like fifteen to two thousand. So it's pretty close around there. But some of them say they wore, they weigh just a little over thirteen hundred pounds, according to whalefacts.org. Sourcing. Sure. Um. But the Tarask weighs one hundred twenty-five tons. Who? Who? According Did to. Did you say a blue whale weighs about thirteen hundred pounds? That's what it said. Thirteen. Hey, don't. That is. The biggest lie ever. They weigh. Thir think about this. An elephant weighs about four tons. Think about. Hey, that. dude. I sourced wellfacts.org. Don't attack me. <laughs> I. They weigh probably like. I, I'll look it up right now. Hold on. I'm looking, I'm looking it up. I'm, I, I okay. Okay. Like okay. 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 Guys, pounds. hold on a second. First off, <laughs> we need to figure out if we're on the if we're citing like actual facts. And mm -hmm. if we're citing oh actual, God. no, we know. If we're citing actual facts, we need to know which website is correct about how big a Tarask is, how much it weighs, etc. Because the one I see is a the beast was a full fifty feet tall, seventy feet long, and I, I would say nine thirty feet wide, ninety feet along the diagonal for Tarask. That's what it says. Why the fuck would they give us the diagonal? <laughs> I don't know. How, how, with, with okay. I don't know. So 50 feet, from... 70 feet, hundreds of tons. That's, that's D&D beyond. Yeah. Okay. So for a blue whale on Britannica, uh, dot com, blue animal, blue whale, they, uh, specific species of blue whale weigh approximately 150 tons, may attain length, more length of more than one, 30, 30 meters. Which is 98 feet. The largest accurately measured blue whale was a 29.5 meter female that weighed 180 metric tons. So and that's the metric a large, tons. And the Tarask, yeah, the Tarask is showing at about 15 oh. meters tall, 21 meters long, according to Forgotten Realms wiki. Okay. So and a Tarask weighs more than a whale. What? Oh, I forgot. And, to but add. a whale is I forgot to add. Bigger. Uh, nearly uh metric 180 metric tons is nearly 200 short US tons. So, it's about According like, to the Marine Mammal like Center. Center. org, it's 330,000 pounds is the maximum is the Okay, so they're bigger. about the same in length, but the Tarask is definitely bulkier if you put them side by side. Way bulkier, yeah. But the, the Tarask is less long by like nine yeah. meters taller. Yeah, and we're in probably. fantasy world. If the Tarask was in like swimming mode, where its where its arms were like down by its side, in, yeah. Uh, I don't think. I'm it, trying to think. I'm trying to think. So I don't think a Tarask would outweigh a blue whale. 
You don't think it's a rat? It says I've... several hundred tons on D&D Beyond. I've heard that Where? a terrasque. Oh, D&D Beyond. If a terrasque um, spawned in, it could just D&D Beyond, uh, terrasque monster sheet, my friend. All right. If you want to know, I'm planning on making a space terrasque, and they will be 400 feet tall. <laughs> what? Holy shit. I'm basing it off Why? of Godzilla. Oh. Straight up. Holy shit. If it, if it's a... I love that. It's a space it's Godzilla. Space Godzilla. Space Godzilla. That's... He's gonna have the fucking crystals on his back. Let's go. When yeah, he I'll help out. Yeah, he's gonna shoot a laser. There you go. You're welcome. Way bigger. If it's in space, wouldn't it have to be bigger than that? So like, like fucking yeah. Galactus size. Well, he still. Like... They still need to eat. The, their size will still be limited by how often they can eat. I mean, are they like planet busters? Do they eat planets? Oh my god, no, that would be insane. Like Galactus? <laughs> oh, no. What's in, the, what's in the cup today, Riley? What's the... The garbage juice? <laughs> like before. Uh, uh, pink panty dropper or no? I literally forgot everything that, everything that happened three weeks ago, so I forgot. <laughs> uh, I, I remember it. Yeah, it, it, mine's like sponges. Look what you taught him. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, it's yeah. yeah these youngsters. Um, it's still fairly trash, and that's almost that's pretty much all you need to know, honestly. Okay, D and D Beyond is not giving me the Tarasks weight. All right, brother, I got you. I'm on the I'm on the monster on the... page for the Tarask. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through it when I pull it up. So underneath the stat sheet. Um, it's on the second paragraph, just oh, above legendary below. destruction. Yeah. Okay, okay. But, so 50 feet tall, 70 feet long, both of those numbers are less than a blue whale. Weighing Correct. hundreds of tons. It doesn't say specific. Yeah, hundreds uh, could mean okay. 101. <laughs> if, it, if it means, no, hundreds would say there's at least a two in the hundred spots to me if there's as, hundreds as yeah, long I as the creators it. of this page knew what they were saying when they said hundreds i am yeah. going to fucking email wizards of the coast right now <laughs> Multiple I, 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 I will say i will agree that if they say hundreds i'd at least assume that it's at least a two in the hundred mark yeah which is approximately one no 35 tons more than 330,000 pound blue whale. Well, that's assuming we're talking about the 330,000. <laughs> one, we're talking okay. about the, if we're talking about the 150 okay, ton one, or the almost 200 ton one, then it would be maybe just 330 a pounds bit. is 165 tons, which is on the higher side, I think, for blue whales, because I am now. Uh, it is on the higher side, yeah. Marine they, biologist. They, they normally reach 150, so that is on the higher side. Hmm. All right. So, but is it bigger? Okay. Is it bigger? <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can play the that game now. No more gotta, whale versus harass. <laughs> I just need to give a shout out to blue to, to whalefacts.org for telling me the, the weight of a blue whale or no the the weight of a beluga whale whenever I search blue whale 1300 <laughs> okay um I've on on Owlbear I have Agumak, Crackthorn, Kendrick I seem to have lost one Grave no! you killed me I think you may have left are you guys oh. Are you guys seeing the new map? Yep. Okay. Are you seeing a ton of fucking black screen? Like, you can't see much yeah. of it. Thank God it's yep. working at least that much. Okay. I guess I'll let you back in. So. It's... It, it, unless... If there's any more conversation to be had from roughly noon... To roughly 2.15, as you guys have been um, traveling from Umbridge Hill toward the Dwarven ex ex Excavation Site. You guys can do that now. He never did let me ask what, uh, what the midwife, midwife was. What what she was? Mm-hmm. Like her race? Like, like, as I would leave, I would say, hey, what are you? 
that would be a you know, very weird fair. question to ask somebody, unless you were. Right. I mean, not for you, maybe actually. Um, I just wanted to put it out there. That's been my shtick, you know. So I just wanted to. Yeah. Oh my God. She's. For the for the sake of just being keeping things easy, she's a, a human. Copy. Which you haven't had a whole lot of well Yeah. Anyway. Alright, over uh cucumber, I got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, brother. Oh my god. Alright, so anything else on your way to the excavation site? Uh, what exactly happened while I was gone? Cause I was gone for quite a while. I don't think there was much. I think Agumak stayed with Agatha and tried to learn to make potions. The barbarians and the wizard had, well, you were the wizard, had a somewhat productive conversation with the mayor through the door. Hmm. Um... Crackthorn more or less learned the same thing, or got got a little bit less information than you did via um, Gravedigger's interaction with the with the uh, the midwife. But he got a little he got little bits and pieces, um, and that's about it. You guys got your twenty five gold each. Gravedigger was gonna pass it out. I'm pretty sure, as far as I know. Yep. Yeah. Um. And I do not currently have a Crackthorn icon um, on this new map. So if you want to put yours on there again, please feel free. Feel free. Blah. And I'll flip to the, to the correct page here. All right, uh, Crackthorn, are you with us? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are going to continue. So, you guys are approaching this. Um, you've got tall kind of mountainous hills just like almost almost straight vertical hills made of stone rock um you can kind of see parts of trees on top around it you're you're kind of approaching via this gully where you've got like 25 30 feet uh, width once you get closer and closer to what looks like um humanoid made stone structures this wall in particular, is is the first humanoid stone uh, humanoid yeah, I'm gonna say man made, but it just means any race that is a humanoid that can make it because it just makes it easier for me to talk. So man made stone walls here, and that is as far as you can see so far. You can move your tokens freely. Please try to do so in small increments at a time. So if you move into an area that has something happening, then um, and if, if like grave, if Kendrick wants to move his token around, and Gravedigger and Algamok and and Crackthorn say you're just gonna kind of like follow close to to Kendrick, I'll just assume where Kendrick is is where the group more or less is, unless you want a different marching order, like somebody going first. Yeah, I was gonna say a grave digger needs to be in front. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. So what you guys doing? You see what I've described and um Yeah. You say, do you guys have any idea of what this is? Uh Gravedigger's just gonna shrug. It's not sure. How? I would also say 
try not to look at the stream if you can, although... No, I didn't even have it pulled up. Good. No, I don't. No worries. Okay, fine now. Because it's going to be different. For, yeah, don't look at the stream, please. Let's see if we're going to bump his viewership. Hi, it's, Mom! <laughs> if you want to be in the stream, just don't bump the viewership. That's fine. Just it. The fog tool is... It's, it's a bit to deal with if I want to have it work the way I want it to, so... Yeah, you're yep. good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. So, uh, do you guys think we should go with like? Do you do you think we should try to find another way around, or just go straight through? Straight through. He's gonna start walking. So, the canyon's rocky walls rise to a height of eighty feet. It's higher than I thought they were. At the end of this canyon that you're walking through, a 20-foot-high wall of black stone has a broken gate carved into it, with one stone door hanging precariously by a hinge and the other door missing. Beyond this open gate, in the shadow of a great mountain to the east, lies a ruined settlement. All is quiet. Hey, lead the way. Man a little way. And as a reminder, okay. Okay. you were sent here to warn some dwarves that there's a dragon that's been sighted in the area. Got it. So this is probably something dwarven. Gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Uh, we right now we're about to go into a ruin, uh, uh, and we're all following behind Grave Digger because he's the biggest man around. And you have been requested to add your token to the map. Truth. Yeah, whatever y'all do, I'll be behind you. I like he's, the square. He's one bad mother. Shut your mouth. Oh, that's true. I, I don't have the new Gravedigger token on here, so if you want to do that, you're welcome to. Uh, yeah, I switched to my phone a while ago, and I don't have it on my phone, so... Haha! <laughs> you square. I'm gonna die. Where the fuck did my pill go? Okay. 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 So you're walking toward the entrance. Um, and then, uh, Crackthorn, I told the others, if you guys are thinking that you're going to be forming, like, in a line, or following one particular person i'm going to just assume whoever is moving their token one spot at a time is the one leading and but yeah up to you just try to move it a little bit at a time so i can respond in time mm -hmm. okay uh, oh I'm, yeah i'm gonna follow gd I don't know, I'm suspicious. I don't like this. I have two do I. I have two grave diggers now. Oh my gosh, I, I rejoined. You son of a bitch. Uh, uh, it's gonna follow I'm not even signed in on your It's all good. Made the spooky scary skeleton noise. <laughs> Oh, and if you haven't done L Bear, um, I believe you can hold Shift or Control while you move your token, so that it doesn't follow the grid lines specifically. You can just move anywhere on the map, like a little bit. Of, yeah, it's one of those two buttons. <laughs> I accidentally that, left. Is gonna join again. If it helps. Yeah, anyway. I'm using the L keys, that's why I don't move <clears throat> too much. Too far. Okay. So what are we doing? Following the grave digger once you get this shit together. <laughs> There's so many grave diggers. <laughs> oh yeah, just walking forward. Which like one? Should, should I kick both the grave diggers so I only have one when you rejoin? I can't tell which I'm, one just I'm, joined. I'm I'm rejoined now. Yeah, but there's still two of you. That's why I'm asking. I if it doesn't matter, then it doesn't matter. So okay, it doesn't matter much. Not affecting guys. Some somebody lead the way. Somebody make some decisions here. I'll uh, lead the way. Please walk. Hmm. 
All right. <laughs> Please move one square at a time. So, yeah. <laughs> See, I'll just... Yo. Just just walking in. Are you trying to be silent? Like, give me something. Are you okay. being silent? Yeah, you, you're right. We Okay, I'm going to do, do a stealth check. We should probably stealth up. We Every, walk into this everyone's everyone's trying to be selfie. Sure. Okay. Then roll me some sure. checks. Yeah. Ooh. Seven. Unfortunately, I don't have Svaldor's um, stat sheet, but I also know he's at disadvantage. So that's a two. Oh, we left him back in town. What are you talking about? Wow. Okay. I got a one. Uh. Honestly, I'm never thinking about Sterling, dude. I'm low-key. Yeah. Honestly, it, with, with some of these stealth checks, I don't think it's going to matter one way or another, so... Yep, and that one is crazy. Can I just, like, can I, can I just kind of, you know, waltz in, you know, head first? Talk, yeah, talk to us or say that you do it. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look towards my party and say, I'm going to go in there. You know. <laughs> I'm gonna go in. All right, fine with me. Uh, just, I don't care. All right. Make sure I can hide behind. <laughs> so, you guys see what I've revealed? Uh, what you, did you reveal? Can you see the map? Yeah, yeah, I see. Um, all of these like stone wall kind of things, they're, I would say, five to ten feet high, of varying heights all around. They're kind of like ruined little houses, little structures where people may have lived or worked. Um, you got a well here in the middle. It's got some rocks in the middle that uh, also has just... There's nothing going on with this well. And you see more walls here and some space beyond the walls. You see a little bit here. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna just continue following them. What about you? Oh, I wanna, not... I wanna mosey on over to that little, over you here. The wrong token. Okay. You know, so I'll just, you know. Thank you very much. Like... Uh, that's that's a good mosey. Oh. <laughs> Although now so... you've turned into Grave Digger somehow. <laughs> oh no. Uh, uh, okay, do... Crackthorn. When you reach this area. Let me figure out how the fuck to delete this again. <laughs> Crackthorn dies. Anyway, um, in in this section, there were two dwarves, Dazlin and oh, sorry, sorry, you, don't, you forget that I said that. There are two dwarves here who are just kind of like camping out, small fire, just chilling. And they noticed you a little bit ago. They have, like, crossbows drawn just because they don't know what, who you are, what you're doing, what's going on here. Oi. What you got? What y'all doing here? I, I, I ignore their question, and I ask them what's down that long hallway. I asked you first. Uh, exploring. At whose best? At mine. This is, this is our territory, lad. We oh, we asked for some help, but if you're just here to loot, you best turn around. I asked them what it it is they need help with. Did. Did the did did someone send you here? Like, what? How? Oh, we were sent to help the dwarf. Ah, I forgot about that. I say, yeah, yeah, we're here to help you. Great thing. Oh, what are you doing, bro? You're bro, huh? Okay. Does Gravedigger Ooh. keep like grabbing somebody yeah. else's token? Yeah. It was, oh, it was an accident. Point. Motherfucker. Yeah, we. I was wiping my we we called for help, I. 
Oh, well, no, fuck. You would you wouldn't that's not what they did. Um You were sent here uh on a mission to to warn them that a dragon had been sighted. They were sent by Fandolin. Fandolin? For what purpose? A dragon. A dragon. A dragon. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know how cool, but it must be a mean one, you know. It's a dragon. We're we're pretty well fortified here. Um but the problem is uh we haven't we've kind of lost control of this area. So if you can if you can help us um get rid of the nasties that have kind of made made a home here. Uh, that would be we'd be great we'd we'd greatly appreciate it. Hmm. Are they down the hall? Um. And then some. How many do you think there are? Uh, I don't rightly know. Uh. S yeah, we we kind of uh, we're kind of the only ones left, so. You two? You yeah, two just the just ones? the two of us. What what Wait. are they? Are they humans? Are they beasts? I, I, again, we don't <laughs> rightly know. Some of them, a lot of our a lot of our kin just kind of ran off, like screaming. Just it's just whatever help you can provide, whatever's in there that you find is yours. Just just clear the place out. That sounds like quite the task. Um, I, if we could do it ourselves, we would have done it. But you look more capable than we are. Okay. Sure, would I'm you gonna... help us fight them if we went to fight them? Um. Make a blah, 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 uh, persuasion check, I guess. Ah, uh, all right. It ain't gonna be good, gentlemen. Just now. By the way, um, as you've entered this area, a partially a partially collapsed ten foot high wall separates this courtyard from the settlement west of it, which is where you kind of came from. Uh, three heaps of rubble are piled high in this area. Hewn from the canyon's back wall, a 30-foot-high temple facade features steps rising to a stone platform. So, I believe that's what's described here. Um, cut into this facade is a 10-foot-high open doorway flanked by crumbling life-sized granite statues of cloaked dwarves. Which I think these are the statues. Um, evil grins can be seen on their weather weather worn faces. So the statues have evil grins for whatever purpose. You you've approached these dwar dwarves. They're um, eating rations, keeping an eye on the temple entrance. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's. To, they they kind of do bicker, like they're a married couple, although they're they're both they're both male seeming. Mm -hmm. Well, I could still be married, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you guys are willing to help us, then um, we've got um, we got we got a couple sending stones that we can give you if, if you clear out the area we know there's we know there's some jellies I'm not entirely sure where they are and there may be more dangers aside from that you said jellies like, jellies i like slime whatever you want to call them they're just like lumps of like undulating grossness Mm. I wouldn't. I don't think they're gross. <laughs> Maybe they're just okay. hungry. I don't, I don't think they're gross. Oh, uh, so it's mostly monsters. There's no people there, right? We know about oh. the jellies. We don't... If there's more, 
I mean, clear it all out. I just want okay. to point out there, there are no monsters. There are only jellies. <laughs> I mean, if you have met these jellies, you would you would understand why we call them monstrous. All they yeah. all they want to do is devour. Seeing the state of uh, towns, or maybe uh, you know this, this beautiful mountain you've carved into. I think we're all monsters in a way. You know, just maybe just be kind to them. You're welcome. Okay, uh, you're welcome to try to be kind to them, lad. I'm gonna say, excuse my friend. He's just very sympathetic towards any living creature. Uh, uh, but I, I say that we could just simply take care of this issue for you if you give us a letter saying that we warned you about the dragon. Sure. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Somebody, somebody give him a piece of paper and some a writing utensil. The wizard, I think, of this group of people would be the one to have the paper and writing utensil. I don't. <laughs> I oh don't. my god. F lad, we'll find yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, find yeah. something to write on. Just please. Help. I have a diary. We'll fi we'll oh. find it. they'll find something to write on. Okay, the uh, let's uh, let's do it. I... Kendrick is like noticeably un like not okay with this idea. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, let let's go. So please, if you're not excited about it, I can go in alone. Continue. I'm in no. after oh, about would... a minute or so. Oh, Mark, I would never let you go in there alone unless you absolutely, absolutely, absolutely want to by yourself like, without our help. Can I just walk in? Can yeah. Just walk in? You have control of your yep. token. Just please try to do like a step at a time, like five feet at a time, so I can unlock some shit as I need to. Sorry. Moseying, you know. Oh. Well, why are you why are you darting back and forth in this way? <laughs> well it's like it's like a, it's like a hop skip and a step. You know? Are you on your phone or a computer? <laughs> my computer. Oh my god. You can just <laughs> use the arrow I, keys. I, I, I oh, arm. Actually? <laughs> yeah. Crack yep. arm, yeah. wait up. Crack arm, wait up. I take a second to look at this statue, then I you know okay. take take a step. Take another Please step. Wait up. Please stop really talking. Can hey, I this one doesn't a... listen. I'm gonna just stay here. Can I do an investigation check on the, uh... Okay, pause. Like, on the area? Okay, investigation check on what? On the area, see if I see any, like, clues that might, like, hit to, like, a fucking <laughs> boss monster or, like, a fucking, <laughs> uh... I don't know, just something. Something to give me more information about the area. Uh, sure. Because we're going into this fucking blind, bro. Can I look for, can I look for traps? Like, I'm, I'm scared. Also, this, like, does not say anything about what... Uh, I'm gonna say that there are... Does everyone have, um, dark vision? Uh, I do. As a vampire, you fucking obviously do. The rest of you? <laughs> yes. Uh... Gravedigger might not. Let me double check. Hmm. If you don't, you're screwed. Crackthorn, what's your race? Oh, if you, if you, okay, I think Goliath does. Dark vision? I'm not, I, I don't think so. I played a Goliath oh, wow. barbarian That's, for a while. Be under. Um, racial traits and abil um, abilities and <laughs> something. Your, the racial traits you get is stones, endurance, natural athlete, powerful build, and uh, mountain born. Oh, how did I have dark vision as a Goliath? Goliath are mountain men. Yeah. I could have sworn that my Goliath so I'd had dark vision, but I guess maybe not. I do not have dark vision. Okay. So I have nothing for you guys. There okay, so what we're gonna say here is there are like little torches here, torch here, torch here, torch here. You can see some amount of light kinda coming from this area. I'm hoping you guys can see where I'm doing the thing. As, something wrong with the as Crackthorn gets here, 
Um, Kendrick, you if you want to roll that investigation check with your dark vision, you're welcome to. And you're investigating for anything that could make you think there's a boss monster? No, no. That was that was just hot. I'm oh. saying like anything that could give me information about the area. Things that we weren't already told. Like uh, about the statues. Like if they, they uh, you know, if they, I don't know, to... looking in a direction uh, that could be meaningful. Stuff like that. Okay, give me... We're going to do different investigation roles depending on what you want to look at. So if you want to look at a statue first, let's give, give me a roll on that. I'm going to be back in like 10 seconds here. Okay. Did you want the roll I just made earlier or did you want a new roll? Guys? I do not. I'm not him. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, what do you think? <laughs> You rolled an investigation, so I would just, you know, say, hey, man, uh, I rolled an 11 on an investigation. I'm sure that would work fine. It's already 5 o'clock. Our next session after this is going to take us... How long do you think? Uh, like two, three hours. Okay, that's not... Two, three more hours? Yeah. Like, that's oh, all, D &D all of us are going to all be the same people playing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three, three more hours? That's a pretty average D&D &D session, man. I, I average... Play more than from my experience, an average D&D &D, D &D session is anywhere from three to four with a somewhat rare occurrence going up to, like, maybe five. But... I'm planning for I've like three in, to four, four, four ish. I've been, I've been a D and D session that lasts from like, like five p.m. to two in the morning the next day. That's insane. Yeah, we just uh, have fun, man. <laughs> I love the game, but that's okay. Um, so your investigation check for the statue will be your first invest. What are you rolled already? Yeah, I rolled an eleven. It is exactly how I described. Okay, just nothing. a dwarvish stone statue. Are there oh, evil okay, grin so for some I, fucking reason? Do I see any like traps or anything in the area? Uh, uh. That would be another investigation check. Okay. In what area? Uh, let me let me go through that. Idea. And then, as I think, timing wise, as Kendrick is looking at the stone statues, Crackthorn made it to here, and Crackthorn would have seen. This passageway, this um, oh. room. Right, can I walk in yeah. this room? Yeah. And um, Kendrick, what's your looking for traps investigation? Um, where are you looking for traps? Like this area, like kind of like all up in much, here. Yeah. So like floor traps, like okay. strip, strip wires, or like things above what us. What like, is like, your role? Uh, let me look. Let me go back to you. By the way, um, oh my god, I'm rolling so shitty. I don't know. Once you've entered this area, all of the stone that you see is sm is smoothly hewn from solid rock, so it's very smooth, well look like good looking stone. Um, you'll see ten foot high ceilings that are very flat and well made. All the doors are made of carved stone with stone pins for hinges. Um, there will be some points of dust, debris, rubble, etc. So, no traps. What was your roll? I got a nine. Yeah, you don't notice any traps in, in this area that you're looking for. Um, Crackthorn, okay. as you get to here, you notice this is, ju there's just rubble. Um... This is blocked off. There's no there. You you can't get through here. Um, just just fallen rocks blocking the way. Anybody else doing anything? Uh. 
No. I, I guess I'll wait. Are we doing turn-based movement right now? Like, like if, how much I can move? If I if I should be doing that at this point, we can. I'll be like one, two, three. But uh, that's kind of why I'm asking you guys to move like a little bit of time, like um, kind of paying attention to where everybody else is moving. Maybe try to move together if you can. Well, I'm gonna move like about here. So. Crackthorn, what what do you do once you see that rubble? Actually, he's turned off his his. I don't think he can hear me or us. Oh yeah, he's deaf. And, uh, I think somebody probably walked in his room or something. Okay. Um, wow. we're gonna continue without him, and then he'll catch up. Um. So, I would assume that Kendrick has let you guys know he didn't see any traps in this area. Yeah. Agumak, what you up to? I'm just following him around. Okay. Try to keep your token close to who you're following for my, you know, for my sake. As mm -hmm. Gravedigger, who has no, no dark vision... Uh, about as far as you can see, so, um, actually, Gravedigger, you can see, like, a little light over here, like a torch, a little light over here, like a torch, light over here, like a torch, uh, just kind of, like, little places throughout the room, but they don't really do much to illuminate anything in here. However, and, you know, try to be, cr try to be cr true to what your character has going for him. Um, Kendrick, with your vampiric sight, can see all of this. Okay. And then Gravedigger, you can see like little bits and pieces, like maybe a five foot square here and there along along the edges around here. Okay. It's pretty dark for you here. Walking in a straight line. Um. You can see, like, this is a pillar going up all the way to the ceiling. A pillar go. These are all pillars that go to the ceiling. And this is a, um, a smaller kind of altar. As if for, like, prayer. Holy shit. Why are they dead? Who? Crackthorn? Oh, you're back. Yeah, Crackthorn, this is yeah. rubble. This is blocking any passage. Okay. Gravedigger, as you approach this altar, a glorp of something falls from the ceiling and drops on top of the altar. And um, everybody roll initiative. Okay. Uh, you want me to go back? Here, so I moved up, like, Wherever two. you think you might have been when Gravedigger was doing his thing. I'd, I'd, be like, I'd be like here. I don't know if Gravedigger waited for Crackthorn to explore that alcove room or Kendrick or Agumak or whatever. That's why I'm trying to have you guys keep your tokens like where you think they would be. And... Uh, I might have it's to go tough. here soon. It's tough. Okay. Sad. Okay, I got, an, I got an 11. I've been rolling really bad for this time. There it is. So it's like right in front of me. I think it's right on top of you. <laughs> Let me see it fell on your head. It fell onto no. the altar in front of you. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so we got 11 from who? Uh, me. Kendrick. Kendrick, okay. I got a 22. 22 Gravedigger. And Progamok. I got a 12. It was 11 for Kendrick? Yes, sir. And I'm sorry, Ogamok, what was it? 10. 
Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, we got a grave digger. You are up, and in front of you, you see this um, kind of kind of golden, yellowish tinted, just glorp of. Well, the dwarf said jellies, so this is what I would I would assume you would think is a jelly. Uh huh. And. Uh, what you gonna do? You're up first. Hmm. I'm probably going to take a step or two back. A three. Okay. Three. That... Oh, more than three steps, obviously. So given that feet, given that you were here, uh -huh. and the jelly plopped onto here, a pack of opportunity. It will. Okay, that would so be like right got here. It is Are you still going to want to move back now that you know he's gonna get an attack of opportunity? I th yep. I think he's played he's played this game long enough, he knows what those are. Um fourteen to hit. New no. Okay. So what you gonna do? Yeah, I'm going to uh I'm just gonna pretend that this is the jelly. I don't want. I don't feel like making another freaking. God damn it! I knew that was gonna happen, and still. Wait. You're you're facing a gigantic fucking manticore again. No. Okay, sorry. This is the jelly. What are you gonna do? Oh, is it just a blob? Just one kind of golden yellowish colored blob jelly thing. Has it shown any aggression for It you? just tried to attack Gravedigger when he stepped away. Uh oh. Um, you, okay. you can't see... Well, you you would have seen that with a little bit of torchlight. So you would have seen oh. it try to attack. Oh, I have it then. I'm. Oh, that's right. I'm throwing my shovel at it. Okay. So, it's... 25 feet away, though. I forget how far I can throw it. I think we made it, like, 20, uh, 40? I don't know. Oh. Uh, okay, yeah, no, I can hit it. It's a, so, 25 feet away? At this point, it's, it's, like, 20. Okay. Cool, it's, a, it's within my, my good range. 5, um, 10, 15, yeah. Okay. So, I'll throw my shovel at him. Okay. Or a hit. Let's see. Uh, sixteen. That hits. Hell yeah! And then I do one d six plus three, so it does seven points of piercing damage. Okay. You see that um, that damage do about what you think it should do. You said seven? Yeah. Okay. Um, next up, we have Crackthorn. Mm -hmm. And then I have the shovel in my hand. Okay. Oh, wait. Is, sorry. Did you want to do anything for your bonus action or movement? Aside from what you already did? Uh, I don't think I have bonus actions. Yeah, all right. Well, I have rage, but no, I didn't. I'm not raging. Okay. Can you resize that? God. Oh. <laughs> like, what'd you do? Thank you for adding that. That's cool. Uh, you can't? You can't resize that? No, I was asking you. you no, can, I you can't. can't. Okay. We'll, Wouldn't just, let me. we'll just say it's there. It's, cl it's close enough. Okay. Crackthorn. Alright, can I chuck a javelin at the little blob? Sure. Can Well, yeah, you can see it. There's enough torchlight in this area that you can see it. I can roll a nine. A nine total does hit. Let's go! Yeah. Sweet. Alright. I get an eleven. Eleven damage? Yeah. As a, ja a javelin's a d6, isn't it? 
Yeah, and then I, I plus five. So I rolled a d6 and then you I. You have five. you have twenty strength. Oh. Maybe. Wait, you have tw you have twenty strength. Yeah. How? We rolled for it. You can't roll. Yeah. Oh. You rolled an eighteen yeah, and added 18. your plus two. So you, you can, 18 is a max you can roll, so you add plus 2 strength with your racial bonus? Die on accident. Oh, I think I... I oh, yeah, because my racial bonus. Then. I was going to say, you can't, you can't roll higher than 18. Okay. A, okay. Then, I also have a 20 in intelligence. I'm awesome. Him. So, you said 11 damage? Mm. Okay. Okay. Um. Alright, uh, bonus action, movement... So you get one attack and one movement per thing? Currently, you have an action, a bonus action, and movement. Okay. How... And you shouldn't have double attack yet. And yeah, that's a level five. Throwing a javelin, which is not a, a light weapon, um, does not give you the option to use like your, your uh, offhand attack. I'm going to move close to this thing. I'm going to move... That's 15 feet. Right here is 15 feet. Okay. And then bonus action. I'm not popping rage on this thing. I'm, I'm done. Okay. Uh, next up we have Kendrick and Ogamok on deck. Got you. Um, I'm going to keep it simple. Uh, I'm a firebolt. Okay. A 17. That hits. That definitely hits, yeah. And it did five fire damage. Okay. Um, anybody that has any kind of good like sight on it would notice that it's starting to look like a little bit weaker. It's uh, um. I gotta, you... I gotta go, dude. Okay. Look, oh, I, I think I, I could... also could you... have to go. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Crackthorn, was... Crackthorn, do you want me to do anything with your character, or you just want to... If you want to, go ahead. I'm Feel free. I trust you. What's, what's your weapon? Uh, I have great sword, great club, and javelin. Okay. Alright, and uh, yeah, it's a pleasure having you. See you next time. Alright, see you, boys. Later. I also have to go, but not oh. long. I'm not going to be gone for the whole session. I'm going to be gone for like 20 minutes. Okay. So... If I'm not back before my next turn, just fire both again. <laughs> okay. Okay, and that's all you got for now? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, Algamak, you're up. Yeah. Well, I would say, guys, I don't think we should be doing this. No one's here for me to actually, like, talk him out of it, so I will... Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. it, it, it attacked... As, yeah. as Grand yeah, Digger was moving away, and the dwarf said oh. it was hostile. Yeah, it's just my character. I know, I know, I get you. I'm going to just go ahead and cast uh, pull the dead on him. Okay, that is a wisdom save. Yep, wisdom saving throw or 1d8 necrotic damage. That is a um, that's a natural one, son. And, hey and if the target is damaged, takes a d12. You have you have told the dead as a druid. I do. My background, remember? The other half of the thing that we, the um, the knowledge that I have. Well, it, the thing that gave me the knowledge gave me uh, magic initiative. Oh shit, you took a feat. It comes okay. with the background, basically. Wait, it's in the background that you get a free uh, free cantrip? Uh, here, I'll read it to you exactly. It's yeah. not worded like that. Do, do, do. Come on over. That's like a cleric. That's a cleric specific um, mm -hmm. cantrip, some kind. Let's see. I believe Divine you. contact. I'm just you gain the magic initiate feat from player's handbook and must choose cleric for the feat. I uh, cross path with so and so. Spoilers for back yeah. for yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he gave me knowledge and I took magic initiate 
and I have that I had to choose cleric for. So I have guidance, oh. soul of the dead, creator destroy water from that. That's, that's, that's a damn good spell to choose. Um, but you you do under you do know how that spell works. I'm gonna roll a d12 for damage because he's missing go. health. Yep. And he missed his uh, thingy. He failed for some reason. That's weird. Um, just roll a d12 over here then. You. Oh yeah, does it not give you the 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 d12 option? No, it doesn't. Yeah, I know. Oh. I don't know why it does that. Yeah, on the on the spell itself, no. It, it they chose one. They chose the yeah, one that's more so often. Okay, six, six damage. Uh, necrotic. Six necrotic. Let me make sure. They could have made it like the two-handed, the or the the weapons where you can switch between one and two hand because they have the both. Damage oh yeah, they do have that, don't they? And so I was like, why don't they have that for Toll the Dead? I, I have that. it on my uh, one of my other characters. It was really weird. Okay. Um, it also appears to take the full six damage. Um, what did I say? We got Ogamok. That's your action. What's you, what's, you have a bonus action. Anything else? Uh, you moved a bit. Yeah, I took my 25 feet. Uh, I guess just in case, I'll go ahead and cast the Shillelagh as a bonus action. And that'll be it for me. Isn't Shillelagh like you cast it as part of the attack? No, I can just... It lasts a minute. So I imbue the quarterstaff, uh, and for the duration of a minute, yeah. I can use wisdom instead of strength. All right. Cool. Works for me. That's cool. Yeah. Um, Crackthorn has given me free reign. <clears throat> Let me just... So far, I think I've received piercing, fire, necrotic, and piercing. What we said the the, the thrown shovel is piercing, right? It's piercing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, so the jelly will attack Crackthorn, who is right there. I don't know how much hit points Crackthorn has so that's going to cause some difficulties but if anybody else has access to his character sheet which we do hold on a second now actually is Crackthorn, is Crackthorn the one that said he didn't have it uploaded to this group no it is okay all right, so Crackthorn has taken 17 plus... That's not damage. So 17 plus... That's going to hit. His AC is 14. So... Oof, 2d6. Okay. Oof, okay. So 9 plus 2, so it's 11 damage. So Crackthorn is down to 5 hit points. Keeping some notes here. We have a. Is everybody still here? Did I lose internet? Awesome. Awesome freaking awesome. <sighs> okay. 
All right, so anybody who's hearing the recording, obviously you're going to continue hearing all this. Um, the stream theoretically would have paused for this because... There he is. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not sorry. He's on the D&D campaign. Oh. Hello again, everybody. I apologize. All right. Um, why am I seeing like a weird little message? Okay, whatever. So, uh, I don't know what the last thing you guys heard was, but uh, Kendrick, not Kendrick, uh, Crackthorn got attacked Hello? by the jelly. And Crackthorn is down to five hit points. Nice. You guys can still... Okay, cool. We still hear me. Okay, cool. Um, that was the jellies only attack and uh, the jelly is looking rough uh, the equivalent of bloodied for a normal character uh, normal enemy whatever and next up is gravedigger followed by crackthorn I just realized in a funny way shovels could also be bludgeoning <laughs> yep probably not when thrown no Although, definitely not yeah yeah if I hit him with the flat side, the bonk them. Um, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna throw it again for piercing damage. Okay. All right. Let's see. Hard Ooh. to miss. Oh my gosh! I always think a seven is a one. That scared me. Twelve. So that's a hit, right? Yep. Awesome. Five damage. Five piercing damage. Okay. Any movement bonus action? Um, it's looking quite rough, like hard to hold its form. Um, hmm. My shovel's not light, so. Oh no, you don't have. The, yeah, I can't do that bonus. I wish it was. <laughs> Want to add more things to my shovel? <laughs> no. <laughs> Even, uh, I, I think your little shovelettes, like the little spade things, might yeah. have been. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, I just end my turn, and uh, my shovel reappears in my hand. Okay. Uh, next up we have, like I said, is Crackthorn. Um, he's going to try to finish this guy off. I, a 10 plus whatever definitely hits. He said greatsword. Which is, I think is a D10. If anybody wants to correct me before I roll it, I think it's a D10. No clue. That is 10. Okay, so... 5. Is he the one that had the, the plus 5 strength? Right? That's Crackthorn, right? Yes. Yeah, so that the um, his sword slices through the remainder of this jelly, and the jelly is no more. And the jelly, all the pieces fling across the wall, and some of it gets on uh, Ukamak to traumatize him. Sure, sure, but no. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um. Okay. Uh, Crackthorn is like, guys, I'm, I'm doing a bit rough. I, I don't know if I should take my potion or, or what to do here. Uh, uh I can heal him. My turn. Uh, the, the combat's over. Oh yeah, that's right. No, yeah, I'm gonna heal him right here. Uh, you're, I thought you were a cleric. You're a paladin? No, I'm a paladin. Oh, my bad. Sorry to hear Oh, he's here. Yeah, he's he came in. Seraphim's the cleric. Yeah, so we know a few things. We know that, um, and, and Axel, you would know this as well. 
Um, Agumak the Druid did make ten good berries. He gave four to the um, Manticore that you missed out on. And so I have six left that he distributed amongst the party, including you. You have one. You guys each have one healing potion, which Crackthorn could take. Or if you think that you have healing potions, or if you guys want to take a short rest like this, these are all things you could do. Oh, and add 25 gold. Everybody has at least 25 gold to start with, plus 25 gold from the quest. So everybody should have like 50 at this point. So knowing all of that, do you guys want to take a short rest here? Do you want, uh, do you think he should spend a um, healing potion? Short rest. We can take I'm a short rest. As far as I know, anybody in this game only has at maximum two, two first level spell slots. So, as far as I know. You have four? I can have people up to get my characters in it. I want that black book thing. Like dressing them? Well, no, no, no items that you have would, re, would restore hit points, except for the healing potions. I'm not saying restore hit points. I mean, as, I mean like, I find things I'll do to, like, temporarily cast them up, and that's how I... I was saying that would be roleplay that I would be Oh, so for for roleplay, gotcha. Yeah. Like just passing everyone else to see if you just got here and everything started the fighting. Yeah. I want to make sure everything's okay. Yeah, I'm uh, fine with a short rest, I mean. He goes up he goes to Gravedigger uh, I think Kendrick is gone for now, but Gravedigger, what's your opinion on the short rest? Yeah, no, I'll take a short rest for sure. Okay. Let's call it a short rest. Axel applies his, like, healing process, but uh, I think, um, can, um... Oh, actually, I do kind Fucking... of short rest, too. I only have 11 HP, so it's not really fun. You shouldn't. You didn't take any damage. Oh, except for the rock that was thrown at you this morning. Um... Crackthorn has a D12 because barbarians have a D12, right, for their hit uh, their hit die. Right. Okay. So Crackthorn gets seven hit points back. Might need to mute your mic uh, if you're not going on. There's a. I hear a lot of yelling over Riley. That's Axel. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I, can't I mean, like, I heard all of his. Yeah. Yeah, and, I can't. Uh, I mean, I guess I, I can mute that. anybody. I, yeah, that's true. So, Crackthorn is back to full health. And we're back to, like, zero combat, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so do you guys want to keep exploring? It's 5 30. In, in theory, we're going to go for at least another hour. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I need to pop out unfortunately okay um that leaves me yeah. with that leaves me with one player that can see the map so <laughs> i know kendrick uh, might come back but shoot yeah i apologize it's okay shit happens that the uh, scheduling is the biggest enemy in D D. It, it happens I'm definitely free, but I feel like with so little people, it's yeah. kind of hard to continue. Yeah. yeah. And okay. I'll, I'll be able to get back at 6, but that's like a 20-minute break period for you guys. I don't want to... Yeah, it's already... And wait for me. It's already pretty bad. <laughs> um, I apologize, fellas. So I'm going to... Okay, I'll, I'm going to leave the... On, I'll be back. I'm gonna leave this in. Yeah, I'm gonna, okay. So, go ahead, Agamok. Do what you gotta do. We'll let you know one way or another if we're gonna continue playing. I'll talk to Grave Digger. Cool. I'll see you guys. Okay. Um. So GD, uh, with the theory that Kendrick will be back in the next ten minutes, and then Agamok back around six. 
Do you want to, like, divert, just break for a bit? I or, feel like we could just take just, a break. Okay. Uh, I'm totally going to be free when they're back. Yeah, same. So, but I, I'll definitely take the break. Yeah. That's a little things I have to do anyway. Just to... Uh, probably won't take any uh, even as long as they're gone so sure okay let's just do that let's take a break well, did they save the old lady yet or did they skip that Please. old lady's fine that quest was completed you you got 25 more gold in your pocket because of it mm -hmm. um and we're going to re we're going to attempt to reconvene in 20 minutes so 6 p.m central time and if we have at least three players plus Axel who can maybe play, like at least three players who can maybe see the map, and then Axel who can just kind of. I can some. I can yeah. somewhat see the map. I would have to get out of it a little. Yeah, I get you. All right, so twenty yeah. minutes. We'll come back. I'll let the channel know, and um, maybe we'll con reconvene in twenty. So I'll see you guys then. All right. I just cool. Want to make sure you Okay. No problem. See you guys later. Alrighty.
remember a lot of people saying that antibacterial shit, like soap, is actually kind of just bad. It doesn't really do much more than regular soap. Yeah, antibacterial soap is is generally what you want to use on your hands. Sort of. Hey, I'm just I'm, even I'm just looking at the Dawn Ultra. I'm, I'm not. No, I get like, you. I get you entirely. There's, I'm just, it's just a theoretical, like... I, I think Dawn is, is the best dish soap from my experience. I yeah. I heavily agree. Just yeah. Because it, you can really feel it get rid of the grease. You can feel it. Yeah. Anti, antibacterial soap is better for, like, washing your hands. Um... Especially if you're gonna do doctory things, but for the normal person, kind of a waste of money. For those of us who like sponges, you know, uh, I'm just throwing theoreticals out no, there. No, as far as sponges go, maybe. Or why <laughs> don't? Or or you can soak your sponge in a in a solution of like five percent bleach or less. Wow. To like water. GD, you sound like a, a slow robot. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh, what is that furry movie? What's it called? Um, that? Utopia. He, no, he oh, he sounds like the sloth. He sounds like the sloth, yeah. <laughs> robot sloth. Oh, uh, uh, cucumber, grave digger. Uh, even though our session is starting at 8, do you want to, like, hang out and just chill for a bit to wind down from this session? You guys are doing like, another game? Yeah, yeah, but it's not, we don't do four-hour sessions. <laughs> I have to say, holy yeah. shit. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I, uh, for the, I don't know if you remember, because once again, three weeks ago, but, uh, I had told the, everybody about this campaign that I'm starting back up. It's like a bunch of groups in one world. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and they, 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 they're in it. They're in it now. They, they, they locked. They're locked in. Okay. So let's spend the next 15 to 30 minutes just figuring out what you guys want to do in this world. Oh, I thought the, se I thought the session was over. Oh, my fault. No, it's just we were giving everybody a chance to like regroup um you and oh, cucumber I'm so sorry I you're fine i'm you're okay i'm just, just i'm just bringing it do i still sound like a robot you sound perfect now yeah. okay do you guys want to do anything else as far as exploration in this um area axel you would need to if you've created an icon you're welcome to add it to uh... this map And if not, you can you can move Crackthorn's icon, the one I'm moving around right now, as if it was your own. But just remember that you're not a barbarian, you are a paladin, so if that makes any difference in how you would interact with a map. Yeah. Okay. Um, you guys have just beat an ochre an ochre jelly. And uh, Crackthorn did explore up in here, and he probably would have relayed to you guys there was some rubble blocking any more progression in this area. Let me just make sure. Yeah, okay, we're good. Um, yeah. I mean, do I have anything that can get rid of rubble? Do you? Do you have hands? <laughs> no, I mean like a, I mean like a spell. I'm sorry, your character walks up walks up where and does what? I tell the others I have hands, I can try. Okay. Okay. I've never Go for it. punched a rock before, but I can punch a deer. It's probably same Same thing. Punch deer, move rocks, same fucking thing, right? Yeah, same shit, same shit. I uh walk up and just start trying to pick up some of the rocks I get. Okay. Excuse me. Um. 
Okay, like we so have to kill those guys. Axel is trying to move rocks. What are the rest of you doing? Um, hold on. Give me one. Yeah, I don't have the spell that could blow it up or something. Crackthorn is just... honestly trying, like, pacing the room because I'm trying to play Crackthorn as Crackthorn would. He's impaciente. So, might be looking Ooh. around, bouncing around the walls. I uh, I guess I'm gonna help. Um, I'd help Axel try to move some stones. I'd pick up the smallest ones on purpose because I absolutely cannot lift up anything heavy. I was gonna say, what's your strength? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Very, very low. Don't worry about it. I I can do it. Just okay then. GD, oh, no, Ogamak, no, you. what you doing? I'm watching these guys dig out these rocks, and I'd like to compare the amount of rocks I can see them moving to how many rocks are left collapsed in the tunnel and making an estimate as how long this is going to take. Sure. Um, let me get strength checks. I... Hold on. Let me get strength checks from Axel and Kendrick. And then an oh, intelligence I, check I, from Agamak. Yeah, I'm done helping since oh. said I didn't need to help. So I'm okay. just like, oh, oh, really? If you're offering, then I'm, yeah, I'm done. Sure, yeah, of like, course. Uh, I just step back. So, intelligence of four. <laughs> shit. Axel, what you got for your strength check? And, like, let me know what it is, because I'm not going to jump channels. Oh, I got a four. Okay. Nice so, one. so, Axel, he's moving, like, one rock every 20 to 30 seconds, and, and they're not the most... If this keeps going on, he might just start... They're not the most. They're not the most biggest rocks. They're they're not great. And then you, Agamok, with your amazing intelligence of a four, um, your math says this could take a billion years. Okay, my character just roars out in frustration and just starts fucking punching the rock with his uh, with the hand that is covered with the metal. Rock. That is. That's amazing intelligence that you're displaying right now. So, uh, give me an attack roll, I guess, on the rocks. Hey, it was, Guys, this is good. With, all I'm gonna say is, it's not with my unarmed strength, so it's okay. <laughs> He's not stupid. I was going to give you bad news, uh, but this might be good news. We might be through it in 500 million, instead of a billion, which sure. is how long we'll be here. I'm pretty which whichever way makes it easier for you to roll just uh, announce the result to me okay so nine okay um I missed rock. axel is is punching rocks m pretty much entirely unsuccessfully what's what's y'all doing can I start oh. shoveling the rocks? Sure. Can I cast Find what do I roll for that? The ritual? Hold on, sorry, Kendrick. What was Kendrick? What'd you say? I said, can I cast Find Familiar as a ritual while we sit here? <laughs> sure. That's ten minutes, right? Yeah. Or eleven? Is it? It's ten plus the cat spell time. I have no, I have no idea. I just know it so, doesn't take a spell slot when it's a ritual. <laughs> as far as I know, ritual is like ten minutes plus the spell casting time. Okay. Is find familiar so, an action or an, a minute cast? Uh, it is casting time one hour. Find familiar is one fucking hour. Yeah. Does it tell you it can be a ritual? Yes, it says it can be a ritual, uh, but you also can cast it normally, but it takes an hour to cast. <laughs> that doesn't fucking ring true to me at all, but okay. Let's just say it's an hour. An hour ten. Whatever. Okay. You want to spend an or hour ten? Know, or, or you know, you could you could be nice to me. I could. And make it, make it ten minutes. I could. He's your favorite? What the fuck? No, he's, he, none of you are my favorite yet. 
Yeah. You might get there. He doesn't like any of us. <laughs> I didn't say that. Um. Alright. So, okay, here's here's where we're gonna kind of like get okay. The combination of Grave Digger digging, Axel theoretically punching slash maybe even getting the idea that maybe continue to try to scoop rocks is better. Yeah. Um, Kendrick sitting down for whatever amount of time it, it takes to create the familiar. And Agumak cheering everybody on. No. <laughs> I was going to ask you a question, if that's okay. Yeah, I don't go ahead. I want to take up too much of your time. You're not. So, the way these rocks are arranged, it's like, uh, was it a cave-in? Does it look like, perhaps? Intelligence check. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> not the sharpest Can this be day. investigation, please? <laughs> yeah, oh, it's the sure. same anyway. Yeah. Oh, I don't even... I thought I took investigation, but... <laughs> 13, sir. I do have... I do have... Agumak, you would uh, you would you would understand that this is a uh, between between Agumak, Axel, just your entirely combined intelligence. I'm just gonna say, at some point in time, all of you may have tried to check a little bit. This this amount of rocks. Yeah, this amount of rocks is coming not only... You can see the map, right? It's coming not mm -hmm. only from, like, what would be the ceiling here, but also, like, it's maybe even spilling in continuously from this direction and maybe a little bit from this direction. It's not just, like, the ceiling fell in this tunnel. It's... It's it's rough. You, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna be Slightly nice here. they packed. I mean, I see you guys do not see a point in continuing to try to dig through this rubble. Yeah, I don't know if that packed? would be more of like a wisdom check, but it's fine. I don't, I don't care. I don't care what you think kind of check it was. That's, that's my... Um, <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, one at a time. Any ideas what to do from here? Yeah. I guess uh, we could... Okay. Um, I, uh, I'm not going to do anything because I'm going to finish my five familiar, so <laughs> let's go out. Let's look that bitch up. Hold on a second. I, I know that it seems pretty fruitless, I love you, but baby. if it's a cave in from all directions, unless there is a huge amount of force being, that was like crushing them together. I want to see how narrow or wide the various gaps in between each rock, you know, each different shape of rock is. The in this area, still. Way to pass through it. Yes. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna repeat that. No matter if you roll, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say that you guys combined rolled a fucking twenty. Stop it. <laughs> Don't. Don't try to continue try and move in this area. Just, well, yeah. sorry, well, sorry, what was your question then? No, it's okay. It's okay. I understand that we're not meant to go that way. I just want to real bad. I understand. I have a feature that you know about that might be able oh, to get yeah. the rocks. Okay, so Gravedigger, what do you want to do since everybody else is kind of so far expended their ideas. I love you, baby. Um, I'm just gonna take a look around real quick. We're like, I mean, I'm sure we already did that. What is it? What does that mean? Take a look around. Huh. Hmm. See if there's any, uh, well, I'm like blind here. Uh, there there are as I said there are torches like every maybe 10 feet ish along these walls so you can see the walls you can't see super great in this area where you're all located right now but the walls you can see okay uh, 
I guess. Yes. Hmm. We can. Uh, I mean, I can. Uh, walk into the. Uh, well, is it just? Are we like locked off? Is it just the area where we saw the slime, and then the the room with the slide, the rock slide? You have yeah. The the total of what you guys have seen has been this rock slide, this room, this hallway, this room. Yeah, that's what you guys have seen. Maybe I I'll like start. I'll put my hand against the wall. And start to, Ow! Like walking across the wall with my hand sliding across it, see if like it touches any buttons or. So you're inspecting for buttons. Yeah. Okay. Um, give me your choice of investigation or perception check. Hmm. Mm. Investigation gives me a plus one, so that seven i found seven buttons <laughs> seven yeah um these walls are pretty cool walls damn yeah they're like cool to the touch or they just look the, cool oh they're just there's there's walls they're walls as walls should be these dwarves made good okay. walls okay Anybody else? What you doing? Uh, uh, I would like to look for ingredients and uh, mushrooms and things like that that I could use for potions. And okay. Uh, yeah. Give me a perception che uh, check. My cat is trying so hard not to take a nap right now. But he's just trying to stay awake, and I don't know why. No clue. How am I rolling bad every time I roll with you today? You're not the only one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you find Nada. Anybody else? Let me go talk to the two dwarves at the front. Okay. Uh, hey, you're two. Hey? Did you clear oh, it out? Uh, yeah, it's clear. It's just one room, right? I mean, it's a rather big structure for just one room, but I'll be fine. Unless uh, there's something else that we missed. I... I mean, if, if you think you cleared everything out, then... As long as there's not more than one room in this place, then yeah, it's clear. I mean, we've, we've only spent a little bit of time in this area. We're kind of... The... Um, we didn't we didn't create it we didn't excavate this land with this you know this area this this rock this uh entire zone we just we were tasked to come here to try to to try to do it ourselves like to try to clear it out but we just we found out pretty quickly we just can't handle it so we don't know what's all in here as far as passages and such that's fair well yeah if you, you just want to come on in take a little look maybe write us a little note uh, anything that we can get to is clear, and any I believe anything that you could get to is clear. So. Oh, all right. And they walk in. I'm gonna say they're you know moseying. They're they're a little bit trepidatious. They don't. They have dark vision, so they can see all around here. I mean. It looks like these rooms that, that we found are, are clear to me, are clear to us. So, 
Um, if you want us to write a note, um, let me ask, by the way, what are all of your passive perceptions or, in, or investigations? Uh, I have a 17. Ten. Sorry, who's, so I got our 10. My passive investigation is a 12 and my passive perception is a 12. My passive investigation is a 17. Passive investigation is 17. Um, anybody else? Oh, That's my passive investigation 16. is 11. Okay. I here's here's my thing. When I when I was a newish and probably even still, I don't know if I'd always be the one to ask these questions, but not to metagame or anything, but always a good idea to like, you know, somebody checked for traps. Good. You also kinda wanna look for secret doors secret passages um in kendrick's kind of frustration sitting down to cast this uh this fine familiar spell just kind of like attuning to the world as this as this ritual starts to go he notices and he can relay this information to the rest of you who wants to that there is something weird about this wall right here something where so where would you be casting this kendrick right here right there right. so yeah you could you could see to this wall sure you could yeah you could see to this wall something weird right here um yeah, I was you can see to this wall something weird right oh. here and you can see to this wall something weird right here and sorry let me just do one more calculation yeah you can see something weird going on with this wall I got you. yeah I was gonna uh, I was gonna look for secrets uh, after I finish my cast <laughs> you motherfucker you're gonna make me wait an hour and ten hey man <laughs> I, uh, while, while I'm, like, meditating, eyes closed, I'm gonna just, like... Your eyes don't like, have to be closed for a, a ritual spell, just FYI. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna say, Ogumat. Yeah? Come here. I'll walk on over to him. How okay. can I help you? I'm gonna point to the different areas. Be like, there, 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 there. There, 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 and there. There's some, some weird looking stuff going on. I'm pretty sure it's some type of like secret because this place looks way too big for these. This to be the only room. I don't know how we're supposed to use all these different things, but I just know there are different things around the room in these places that could somehow help us get to the next room. I see. Well, I can understand exactly what to do. And I'm just gonna walk over to the walls and just on every little tile that he pointed at, just start running my hands over it, looking for these doors. All right, which one Pushing do you want to do first? Reckless abandon, starting from where my token is, going clockwise. So here is it closest? Right. Okay. Um, let me just figure out. I know there's a check here that it specifies. There it is. Um, give me a perception check, sir. Also, uh, can my character Natural 20 for 26. Okay, Axel, what were you saying? Sorry. I was asking if my character can, like, smell anything from anywhere. Oh, um, no. Not, no. Not through, not through walls. Um, 20... You find for sure there is a door here, and you actually also find the lever or switch, whatever it might be, to open it. So, 
assuming with your permission that you open that bitch. Yep. Get it up. Um you see that. Hey guys. We we definitely should have kept digging. There's Ooh. there's a tunnel this way. Good. Uh, I don't. Maybe we should go down here. Axel, I can barely hear you. What you saying? I said. Uh, I said to them, maybe we should try and go down there. I. I think it's fine. Probably. Do I smell anything down there or hear anything? Um. You do not smell anything there. Aside from just the same thing you're kind of smelling everywhere else. It's just kind of oldness. Yeah. It should be fine. I don't smell any wild animals in here. Or Tr try to move your tokens like, you know, five feet at a time if you can. And as Axel is getting to this section, he sees... He sees three stone bed frames that stand against the east wall of this chamber. Can I use some uh, divine sense? I'm sure. sure. What does that do? What's the range? You detect nada. Okay. So as Axel is kind of doing that, what are the rest of you doing? And Casting. do we want yeah, do we want to like postpone this six forty now? Do you want to postpone this till next Sunday? Yeah, I'm down. Uh... We've got Axel, Kendrick, Ogamok. How you doing? Oh, I'll, I'll go um, with the party. Whatever you guys decide. With... Gravedigger, how you doing? I'm good with ending. Ending? Uh, for the the session, right? So that's one to end yeah. and three to keep going. No, I'm uh, I, I'm on the end spectrum too. Okay. Also. 50% yeah. is good enough for me. So that is where we're going to end tonight. And oh. we lost Axel oh. immediately. <laughs> and he's back immediately. <laughs> he was like, he was that was like, funny. Fuck this it's I'm like, out. we're gone, and now I'm back. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys next time. This has been... I'm sorry <laughs> for the, the clunkiness of me. But... I'm sorry I left. Hey, it's fine. Everybody left at some point in time to come back. So I'll see you That's guys next true. time. And, uh, except for me. Except for GD, he's been here the whole time, I think. <laughs> All right. It Is it Sunday one. yet? <laughs> That's the fucking. <laughs> anyway. Is it Sunday yet? I know, right? I'm such a <laughs> <laughs> fucking sellout. Okay. No way. I'll see you guys next time. Later, everybody. Oh, yeah. Good yeah. playing with oh. you. Good playing. On uh, Critical Role. Critical Role. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>